F F this. F this. F this. Fuck this, Mr. Welcome, Queen. Welcome. <laughs> Another episode of F this. I am your host tonight. I will be your host tonight. For the most of the night. I don't know. I may dip out and dip in and dip out and dip in so and then dip out like and meal? dip in. It's like sexy time. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so this is uh, F this number 14. Um, and I'm Duff. Shante. Anybody? A- anybody? Neilio. <laughs> Normally, <laughs> young Neil. Sarah. I'll be Malcolm tonight. All right. And that's Malcolm over there. Most of the time. Half the time. Half the time. Half the time, sometimes. That's right. Sometimes, half the time. Sixty percent of the time. That's right. So, how the fuck are you? No, I'm not gonna steal that. So, been? how you guys doing? How you? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? I'm feeling successful this week. Pretty good. It's good. It's good to hear. It's good stuff. I'm trying good, to move out of the way so you guys can. See. <laughs> It's been yeah. like a crazy minute since we've done an F, F this episode. Shante, if you push the camera back, mm-hmm. it'll get more of you in the frame. Wait. And you'll see more of Jeff Goldblum, too. Wait, this? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> push, it. <laughs> push it real good. You guys, the reason I have Jeff Goldblum as my background is if you can see here, Mr. Jeff redid his classic pose. It's classic. Because Man, a new Jeff. Jurassic Park came out. You bet your you ass. Can see it. Right oh, I have not seen that. Book. I, I just saw it like mere minutes ago. It's pretty fucking crazy. I think what I saw that? it maybe a half an hour ago, 45 minutes. We show. So when we got in on our Zoom, I was like, I knew what I'm doing. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> it it looks like that bangs. <laughs> yeah, it bangs. Like really high bangs. <laughs> we match. Me and Jeff's mom. <laughs> Malcolm looks like a little brain over there. He does. <laughs> what up, sir? Hi. My computer's oh, being oh. so fucking weird right now. Oh, you look like you're at a on. wedding right now. The camera's up your nose. Mm. I know, because I'm on my phone. Yeah, your bangs look silky. <laughs> no. What'd you say? Your bangs look silky. Thank you. Because they're all shiny. Yeah, because I'm trying to fucking. Okay, so while Sarah's adjusting to technology, maybe adjust maybe, your life. Maybe you I know it's like all in my fucking face. I'm like, go oh, away. Let's this episode, though. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Officially swear soon. Yeah. Okay. 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 We don't have any. We don't have any. Oh shit! Yeah, there you go. Don't have hey. <laughs> hey, what's the meeting password? Anybody? <laughs> we, I just got an invite. God damn it, he's walking all over my intro. Now we play it all over the place. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> all right, fuckers. Well, welcome to F this. Uh, <laughs> I'm your host with almost the most. Not really. But the anyways, host with quite a bit. The host with, with quite a bit. <laughs> with a little bit. <laughs> just want to say hello. And uh, yeah, this is the intro wow. to after this episode number 13 plus one or 15 minus one or I don't know, 12 plus two, whatever Welcome. it is. Welcome. 12, part two. Spitting all over the mic here. Something. I got a fucking, I got one of those <laughs> hangnail things. Fucking, you need uh, some lotion? Yeah. You need some no. olive oil? <laughs> Maybe. You need the girl to sit on your hand? Probably do. I think I bit it off, actually. Awesome. Uh, Sarah, you need to be up here. Come spit on Malcolm's hand. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm trying to fucking... What's the password to the meeting? So I can put this shit on my computer. <laughs> the password is... Come spit on my hand. Yeah, it's is... so dark over there. Nipple. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to do about it. <laughs> It'll be really too bright or too dark. <laughs> if somebody wants to start off with how the fuck are you and kind of take your time, I'm, I'm <laughs> hugging Sarah up with the meeting ID. Like, oh, yeah. yes. 
So folks, how the fuck are you? How the fuck are you? So it's been a minute, like a good minute, How, like almost two months. Two months, almost two months? exactly. Almost yeah. exactly. Yeah. All right. So it's been like two months. And uh, Neil, Mr. Young Neil, how the fuck are you? How you been? I'm pretty good. <laughs> I've been. Uh, I'm on my holidays now, so it's been pretty awesome. Holiday. Are you as high? As mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Are you as high? As I you? might be. I, I, I might be. Here. Except for Sarah. <laughs> not thanksgiving there yet yeah uh, fuck her man oh, fuck the united states what what happened it's thanksgiving, thanksgiving. oh you missed it it's turkey genocide it's it's <laughs> our fucking turkey white genocide. guy that killed a whole bunch of people holiday yeah that's right yeah. In, the that state, in the states no. it's columbus time no it's not <laughs> yeah. that time. in no. canada we, give, we just eat turkey in canada we give thanks for a bountiful harvest that's what canadian thanksgiving is mm-hmm. yeah you just sounded so canadian <laughs> <laughs> Your ass sounds Canadian. Oh. Sarah. Sarah, share your video. I'm trying to get on with this fucking Sarah, put shit your computer. Clothes on. Share your video. Put your pants on. <laughs> fucking join us. Yes, leave her alone. <laughs> How the fuck are you? How the fuck are you, Steph? How the fuck am I? I? I am. I am. I am existing. I am here. Yes, I am you. present. I, I, I am. Just touch your ass. I don't know. I'm good. I cannot complain. <laughs> To everybody who is listening right now or later in life, or what? This is ever. not a log cast episode, no, which we've been doing a lot of. Yeah, we're not. Yeah. We're not They're my favorite. We're nasty, so. I don't to know, our I new didn't... listeners who chimed in in the last couple of weeks, we've just been messing around a lot. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, fitting in episodes when we can. This is an F this episode. It has more structure and segments and. It does. Sorry. Yes. I mean, you lied. Yeah. Yeah. That's weird yeah. talk. That's poopy talk. Uh, <laughs> I don't know for the rest of everybody else. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I've never stopped doing that. I still talk about dicks and vaginas and assholes. It's true. He but never. We tend stopped. to we tend to cross over into that domain, anyways. So. Yeah. We we just say, oh, sorry. We just went a little left to good right there. Mm-hmm. My, my bad. My, my mistake. I'm stoked because this week I got all my orders ahead of time done so that I could hang out and just have a good weekend. <laughs> well, did we just fucking cut off Neil? He just said he was doing goodies on vacation. No. We just like no, that, oh, that, 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 That's pretty much it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because I am on vacation too. Uh, funny enough, I got today off, which is pretty dope, right? I usually work Monday through Friday. I got one of those jobs. Not really. I don't work in a cubicle. <laughs> No. 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 Why not? No. <laughs> Why not? Fuck those I don't get a vacation. Because everyone who's on vacation for holidays and I'm usually doing their baking, holidays. Baking crap for their holidays. You're oh, doing yeah. their holidays. But we're doing good this week. Yeah, we're right. ahead of the game. Yeah. Head of the oh, curve. Yeah. There's nothing like being organized for like something big, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it feels good. Yeah. yeah. Like like turkey genocide day. Yes. I love being prepared Get for the turkeys genocide. thawing out. As it's we gonna speak. be such a great day on Monday because oh we're all god, gonna be yeah. here. Oh my god. All day. Oh yes. Mm-hmm. Without Sarah though. Sorry. Sarah, yeah. you can just like <laughs> zoom in and hang out Sarah, with us all how day. How about you just fucking catch a plane or something? <laughs> oh, I tried your that. You got a better chance of catching COVID these days, right? Aww. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. tunnel here. If you start right now, you'll get here by Monday. Well, we were talking hey. about having a border party, uh-huh. and my didn't family like, was totally down for it. By border way. party. I'm didn't you. like two million Americans come over in like the last five or six months? Yeah, they tried. Like that. Yeah, Sarah should have just fucking came here. Yeah, yeah they really really only caught came like ten percent of them. Not bad. Right? I don't, I don't know how strict they're being about things now, but I don't who know. Knows? We're getting closer to election. Who knows? Time. Here's the thing. 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 Here's Break the it thing. down. Here's the thing. <sighs> I feel you, man. How are you, Malcolm? <laughs> good <laughs> all the time. Right. That's good. Malcolm, what the hell did you do all the time? Yeah. I, uh, kite is high? Your kite is high? Well, I tried to maintain. Dude, you got two people on here right now, Sarah. I, I told you I, I, I was you switching. switching. Holy smokes. Like you're feedbacking. 
Okay. okay. Yeah, I told you guys leave her alone. Let's concentrate on ourselves. My piece was. I'm allowed to worry. Okay. All right. I'm allowed yeah, to worry when I care. I'm sorry, but she confused Gimli with R two D two. So she's forever. <laughs> you guys, I thought forever on that list. I thought she were. I'm gonna come to Canada yeah. just so I can hurt you. No, <laughs> no. Fuck y'all up. No, that list is she's on it and forever. And I feel like you're not the one. I feel like Neil is the one. He needs to bring it up every time. I've okay. never so seen we, Neil we... so rowdy in my life. Oh my god! <laughs> Seriously, he was about to throw down. Like, Chris was telling me the cuffs, next morning. Like, oh my god! Fist to cuffs. You all have <laughs> seen that Neil oh fucking death. Yeah. I'm sitting here. I didn't. I swear to God. I have. You were just don't, talking don't about redeem it. yourself. We understand. I, just like, she was. <laughs> raz, 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 we had like a fall. Like a raspberry. She did something just cool. A, and we were like, <sighs> she's redeemed. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Forgive me for missing the last one. That's you guys are cunts. You cool. carry the fucking show, man. Yeah, you watch it. Did Holy you watch it. It's, I listened to it in the car, and I was very. I didn't, like, I didn't listen or watch. I was stoked on it. But like, not only did he cover his own DM duties, he also took over for Duff for a while. Yeah, it was amazing. <laughs> did he? Did he just say fuck cunt? And he's like, oh, cunt. Oh, oh dude. I got a story for that. <laughs> I got a story. Yeah, I got a story. Nice. For that. Nice. That was awesome. Nice. Beautiful. We should do a shout my, out was, about that too. He was my he was my stand in double. And he, he yeah. Good, nice. We should do a shout out about that. So we decided if you have been a part of the situation for a while to start um doing our D live. And we've gotten a lot of followers who hang out with us. And then also we've actually claimed two new players, which is dope. Yeah, yeah that's the shit. Yeah. So, that's uh, so fun. We ha- we have a, a Corey, aka the mm-hmm. little Bruce, a AKA Thumper who joined us. I Thumper True Strike. And then we have um Bryn who is uh, He's in Terrace also, right? Yeah. And then um he what's happening is what I've I don't know who he's also with in Terrace, but also is that we are claiming these very serious gamers who have been a part of groups who have they're like super serious and I don't know what like hardcore, I don't know what to describe it. Yeah. They follow all the rules and like they know all the things and I like it because you guys they're teaching us yes, what we need to do. Yes. But also they're coming to us because they want to have fun. That's right. And that's all we're about. Yeah. Yeah. We're making it a good time. We like poking things with our dick and <laughs> bagging things with our dick. And fucking every shopkeeper. <laughs> Sarah, yeah. did you freeze up? Oh, she did. I thought she was oh. fucking with me. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, Holy so crap. this is the oh, part man. of the show where we talk about whatever until it's time to talk about what's important. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> I'm still just waiting for Sarah because I haven't asked Sarah how the fuck she is. So, um, yeah. yeah, Neil, how the fuck are you again? <laughs> how are you doing right now? Neil, how was your <laughs> five how minutes, was, minutes ago? Neil, how was your week as a manager? Yeah. As a manager, oh, of it's, the great been, uh, it's been uh, People's Canada. <laughs> It's been pretty. Uh, it's been pretty interesting, I guess. I mean, it's. Uh, it hasn't been bad. I can say that. It's. Aww. It's been a lot more bearable. Yeah. Bearable is better than not. Yeah. Bearable is. I mean, oh. have, having some great coworkers kind of helps with it too. Oh, absolutely. Did you guys get new? Energy? Yeah. New yeah, we got like the last. Four months, we probably had it like five new employees. Dang! And, and only around? three of them, only Dang. three of them are stuck around. Okay, that's, you got, you got a high turnover rate. What are you doing? To the speakers, man? Away. Uh, I don't know. It's just, <laughs> it's just people. It's just people that you know get jobs and then just show up whenever they want. I mean. Yeah. So it's <laughs> like, hey, they're 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 scheduled today. Where are they? And then you know they show up the next day, and it's like, where were you guys? And they're like, I don't know. We just didn't want to come in. Okay, well, those are winning. I do. I love. I, I love, understand that. I love going to a job and just standing around not doing my job. That's the best. Okay. They're probably just collecting Fucking name Christ. tags. They're like, can I, just, I get a name tag from every business in this town? I don't know, like the the work ethic that I that I that I feel that people should have is you're at work, so work. It makes the day go by a lot better. Like, believe me. I don't know. Is that the same at Staples? It's so quiet and clean there. It's just work. Neil, like is hospital. there work to do there? 
or do people just, you know, Come carry paper around to look busy? <laughs> hey, I carry paper around just to look busy. Okay. <laughs> well, you're a manager. That would not be you. Um, you wear the yeah, white there, hat. There's, there's a bunch around. of stuff. There's a bunch of stuff to do there. There's, well, when we get printers, which is very rare nowadays. <laughs> Um, I would say, yeah, just answering people's questions about random stuff like tech related things. Uh, if they need a hand, like finding, you know, what type of paper is the best to print on this or that, all that sort of jazz. <laughs> Do you have a, a tester area where we can touch paper and see if it's what we want or like? Hey, look, it's Sarah. Hi, Sarah. I'm totally just kidding. <laughs> We're trying to fill space. This Malcolm. paper smells really good. I'm not sure if it's actually. I'm trying to diffuse the situation the with Sarah here. The technical. Te 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 <laughs> oh, oh Neil, are, are you drinking a nude? Yeah, keep going, keep going. I am indeed. What? what it's a uh, black cherry. Black cherry. Does it? Bam, does it does black cherry. Blam <laughs> bam. Does it taste it's, like it's right. TV fuzz? Is does it, it taste... someone screaming a flavor from another room? Does it taste, <laughs> taste like a lamb, -a -lamb? It tastes like I'm drinking club soda and somebody's whispering the flavor in my ear as if yeah. it was like an <laughs> ASMR. Yeah, it's like, it's it's like black cherry. And you're oh. like, yeah. yeah you you're just right. think about black cherry <laughs> while you're drinking it? Yeah, we're like, like, okay, yeah, yeah, so. like... But if I, if I think it's like lime, it'll taste like lime. Did everyone see Malcolm's tongue right now? Do it again. No. Hello. Hello, Sarah. Sarah we hear you. Hello. We can hear you. Right. We can hear you. Oh, uh, you I was like Hi. making noises like blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you guys could you hear me. Malcolm's tongue. I'm sorry. Yeah, you, oh. you, know. you guys were both doing that tongue thing. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Oh, that's probably why he was <laughs> doing it to make fun of me. <laughs> no. I told him to do it because I wanted everyone to see it. No, because he was doing it because he was licking Neil's ear. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, whispering the black cherry in there. Yeah, yeah. Is my video he, better though? Like, am I still breaking up? You know, no, you know good. how, like, on the other video, uh, when Jesus I take the video Christ. home, it's like we're in different positions on the screen, which is weird. So I'm, that, I'm like beside Neil, but you're like, ah. and, yeah. I wish and, we could see yeah. on our phones like we were the which Brady position? Bunch. Yeah, yeah. It would be cool. That would be if we cool. could see everyone swear. I can't see Sarah if I'm looking at Neil and. Jeff and Malcolm. Yeah. Really? Yeah, oh, that's why, you're on your yeah. phone, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have my computer on so I can me. see you guys. Yeah. If you all right, so let's carry on. Um yeah. Sarah, how the fuck are you? How you been? It's been a while. It's been like two months since we've done F this. Mm -hmm. so <sighs> let's like let's like rewind, fast forward, and uh, remix. Let's work, recap. Work, 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 remix. Rick. I don't really even know how I am anymore. Everything just blends in together and it's like fucking blah, Trump, Biden, election, coronavirus, blah, and then like, yeah. like do you, I don't, really I don't TV, know. TV, I honestly, TV, I don't know how I am anymore. Yeah. Do you feel like this, the kids doing schoolwork is, is giving you a schedule so you have like better? No, schedules? absolutely fucking not. No? No. They all no. together? It, everything, I, I don't even know what day it is. I know today's Friday because of the fucking podcast, but it's so bad. Like, it's true. If <laughs> because I the baby. Orders, I wouldn't know what day it was. Logan, oh, like, he runs around just fucking. Oh, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Okay. Sorry to cut you off, but I just wanted to make sure that somebody can somebody please monitor um, Facebook for a chat. Oh, yeah. Normally, me and Neil do it. Yeah. So oh, I just have the, the video on. I can see if I can add chat to it. I got you. All right, Groovy, thank you. I got to share. So anyway. much. Okay, yeah. So that's that's us. That's been us. All right, folks. So how, how the fuck were you guys? How the F are you guys? Tell us. Tell us how you've been. I know it's been a minute since F this, but mm -hmm. it hasn't really been that long since we've done an episode. I know we're always like doing <laughs> episodes as something else, like the D special episode or left of good just because well i'm never fucking prepared for this situation well chris started a, <laughs> so, a new job three weeks ago yeah, and yeah, we haven't yeah, done an f right. this since oh, yeah. that week I did prior that. new job i did that thing yay <laughs> so and with the new job i'm waking up at like 4 30 in the fucking morning to be ready for work so we're tired as fuck guys 
Oh, yeah. Chris isn't prepared. Give us a fucking break. What's your problem? We, Jesus. We, Stop we, yelling. We're trying to make shit work for God damn it. We're trying so hard, okay? We get mad at no one in particular. <laughs> <laughs> we only have time for shenanigans and dice rolling, all right? That's right. Quit jumping down our fucking throats Jeez, already. Stop crawling God. up my ass and Dude, jumping wait. down my throat. Dude, wait. Make me take some time. Neil. Oh, getting all this shit yeah. for $3.99. Richter yeah. or Victor Tom? <laughs> It's oh, an Victor's asshole. Back? First Victor. and foremost. Victor. Hey, Victor, how you doing? Hey, hey. I gotta I read someone. all the shit that he's that he's got on here. The first one was I've been on. I'm not Canadian. I apologize. <laughs> he says, "A and my guts is chaffed from too much time in my hands." Jesus. Not Jesus. sure. Talking about <laughs> both. Remember, we were talking about guts. No, that's, that's and weird. apparently, that's weird. That's weird. That's oh, weird. I thought it was junk in general. It's twig, not giggleberries. So, yeah. what's the name for the balls? Balls, just balls. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it Frank and Beans? I always thought it was like the Frank and Frank and Beans, beans Twig and Giggleberries. No. Yeah. Yeah. And stones, okay, and then he stuff. says, Six "So no can't update." Break your bones, you know, oh if it's God. big enough. Give big us your black. best words for balls what? and cocks. Sarah's re- yeah. Sorry, sorry. Right. Yeah, fucked hearts. Just kidding. And then he says, so no update on Sarah's lack of dong. LOL from Joe last appearance I've seen. No, Victor, no update. <laughs> and then Victor says, damn, young Neil, you sound like Tony Montana. Huh? The dong is inside out. She's talking. Well, okay. <gasps> you done? <laughs> no, I'm never done. I know. We're just getting it, started. Neil, are really you? Cute. It's really cute because... Me and Joe are always just so worried about Sarah's genitals for some fucking reason. They're fine. They're there. I will assure you of that. <laughs> we just want we you to be anywhere. happy, girlfriend. Yeah, I got a rechargeable Manuel. We're good. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Uh-huh. No, because remember, Corinne part? said it was Manuel because it's manual. Like, exactly. you have to do it manually. Mm-hmm. And you got to read the manual. That's fucking lame. Imagine well, it's not our mom. Oh, it's necessary. That's like, uh, that's like naming a dog dog. Well, not everybody has <laughs> or, a, a, <laughs> a certain somebody in their home where they could just. You could call it Saint Peter. Oh. Up fucking... Bilbo, Bilbo the dildo. I that's thought right. Manuel was a very cute name. I guess. Huh? I don't know. Okay. Frank. Frank. I also have Frank a rechargeable 30. friend. Corey says he has a rechargeable friend. What do you call your rechargeable friend, Corey? Victoria. Smartphone? Isabella. <laughs> it Porn and, right. <sighs> and apparently you could get smartphone to vibrate. EI was employment insurance here in the US. We just call it unemployment, so whatever. Frank, he calls it Frank. Fred? Yeah, Frank. Frank Furter. In Canada, Frank. it's called EI because it's, uh, it's called employment insurance. Yes. Right. We just call it unemployment here. Uh, yeah. We don't use the word unemployment because it's a negative connotation. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Right. And you guys are Canadian. Only so positivity has to be... up here. That's, That's right. right. Even it's passive. It's passive aggressive positivity. In Canada, like yeah. the nation is unemployed. Look, 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 how, look how your country is doing compared to ours. <laughs> you know what? That's not. Hold on. Oh Oh, shit! (laughs) That is not (laughs) our fault. I'm making. I'm making an unrelated correlation here. Oh, okay. (laughs) Just for the laughs. Ego by telling him how amazing he's been. And we call him a fuckboy now. So (laughs) (laughs) So that just makes him feel really special. Uh, All right, you fucks. We're gonna move on. Um. Yeah, all right, let's move on to the nerdy news. Neil, right. Neil, Neil. Oh. I thought there was a bunch of things before this here. Let me pull up the page. <laughs> so do, do we have, do we, Speaking before, of nerdy, Neil, he's let me just minimize there's all literally a, a little tiny notebook downstairs, and there's a notebook on this table we're at right now. Yeah, yeah. Neil. Keep it under control. Your notes are all over my house. Get your life together. <laughs> Remember your notes. I'll, I'll try to. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have some of your customers' I think it, phone numbers. 
Oh, <laughs> oh, oh so those little notebooks. Yes, little right. notebooks. Okay, so I'm going to call someone and tell them we have the printer in stock. All right, All right. Well, I'm going to interrupt this. Yeah, I'm going to interrupt this. Just oh, for, this is an old minute. one. Do this. Real quick. Damn. Minute. It's your episode. Do Real quick minute. Fuck interrupting you. Yeah. Um, Joe said he's going to go wash his nutsack. No, oh, no. He's just going to dust them off. And then you'll join us. Victor, um, if, you put, if you put some deodorant on your inner leg area, I yeah. think that the it doesn't chafe. Chafing will work, but it has to be like the solid because it can't be the clear shit. Yeah, or else, no, yeah. yeah, that sticky stuff doesn't work. You gotta use Dove too. Yeah. Dove. Oh yeah, Dove because you smell powder <laughs> fresh all day. No, Dove. Dove's the the not the not the powdery fresh smell. Oh, yeah. Mine is the not cucumber scented. smell. You just puff your it's balls. Just, oh, I hate the fucking gold bond. The cucumber scent. You get out of the shower. You don't people get cancer from the talc in there? Gold Bond? Yeah. Gold Bond. Don't gold use bond. powders, guys. Don't use powders. It they has turn into paste. Causing agents. Everybody uses. Everybody uses Gold Bond, man. You will get cervical cancer. Yeah. Yeah, you will get, get like ball cancer, cancer and shit. It's now, true. Man. But, but it's a thing. Yeah. I put just breathe air and when... drink water and you'll be fine. I'd rather just breathe fucking pot and drink alcohol and have a good old time. Did and you then die of cancer. Pot? What? Did you say breathe yeah, he said pot? breathe air and like, you know, you can't <laughs> breathe alcohol. I've never heard it put that way before. Let's go breathe some pot. Let's breathe some air. Neil, you want to go breathe some pot in half time? <laughs> I would like. I would love to breathe some pot. Are we going to exercise our right to take breaks? Shut up, Neil. You're probably high as fuck right now. Holy smokes! Oh, I might be. <laughs> so guys, we're gonna we're gonna pop a squat a break around what 10 30? 10 30. 10 30. Yeah. Corey breaths water. There's we'll the E at the end of breathe, buddy. We'll leave the cameras run in and, and we'll go we'll vacate the area and go go outside, have a smoke, <laughs> and drink, whatever, and then hey, we'll look, come back. my child's gonna run by. Hi, child. Ten minutes. <laughs> 10 minute break at yeah. uh, 10 30. 10 minute break at 10 30. We'll all pop a squat. The fuck? Do our thing. I don't know. Whatever you do during 10 minutes on a break. Yeah. Have a breathe, smoke. Breathe I'm going to be here, guys. Breathe, breathe some nicotine. Breathe some marijuana. Breathe some meth. I don't know. You breathe meth. Whatever. Yeah. Breathe some crack. Okay. Yeah. Breathe crack. Breathe those cracks. Breathe. Don't breathe mind if crack. I do. Into that. Something. Shut up. Breathe his crack if you're into that. You're into his crack. You can breathe his crack. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> You could also you could also breathe some heroin. You could breathe marijuana. You could breathe cocaine. You could breathe what else? What else? Paint you thinner. Got painkillers. And <laughs> <laughs> I like. Well, like well apparently, you could like breathe meth through a light bulb. Yeah, that's that, true. Why is that apparent? Well, I mean, I was just referring to Shante's <laughs> post earlier. Fuck fucking space age. It's like it's true. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> that's like that's like being really really yeah, being a real smart too. meth head yeah. it's, a, it's a rare thing yeah. we're just really but, desperate well, it's like i was, I was reading no, something like, where, where, what fucking meth head would do you believe would fucking smoke don't fucking of, find a way don't smoke out anything i don't know potheads will smoke out, out anything too Give them a puddle and a straw, and they'll figure out some fucking way. Something way. Don't make a bomb. <laughs> puddle suckers. Puddle bomb. Puddle <laughs> I remember. Did you see my post about that? That's what Neil. Neil about mean. puddle suckers. About about doing drugs and not knowing about. Don't that do sex? drugs, kids. Ever. Well, yeah, yeah. Cause I because I just made an inference. Do That's do what you're talking about. <laughs> Have a dare program in Canada? Yeah, dude. Do yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. We we <laughs> let that guy <laughs> down. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, guys. But I I have to interrupt you guys again. Okay. Real quick. Okay. You know Breaking minute. news. Straight minute. <laughs> uh, Joe just chimed in. He said, "Hashtag R.I.P. Sarah's vagina." What? That is not okay. true. It's just on a shelf at the yeah. moment. I swear I to God, know. I'm gonna get an OnlyFans account and show all of you motherfuckers. It's just fine. I will pay. <laughs> I will pay too. <laughs> you you want to pay? Sarah's only fans. It's just fans. I don't even. It's it's Sarah's just fans. fans. I thought it was just only fans. fans. Her vagina. So are we all gonna pay and go watch Sarah's vagina? Well, I mean, you guys aren't gonna watch, but we're all gonna support. Okay. <laughs> We'll support. I guess I'm not allowed to watch, but no. I guess I'll Shereen support. Shereen and I and Malcolm no. will watch. Everyone will have it. And Everyone we'll else all... gets to have the fun. But it's true. I'm so, running it. So. Neil, you have to pay. Chris will pay. Tyson will pay. Everyone's going to pay. That's for me. We want to support you in all of your life endeavors. But 
Only support. They're not moral. allowed to see your face. Moral, moral and monetary support only. That's right. And this also- is ridiculous right. how much no, I don't no. even get as much attention as my vagina gets, and that's that's rude. Yeah. You deserve it. What? I, I bug you uh, R2 D2 every <laughs> fucking episode. I swear to God, Chris. <laughs> you should totally send her an R2 D2 vibrator. Oh, yeah. That makes, I'll make you think <laughs> nice. Oh, my God. When he goes we inside, he goes But we'll oh, surprise it and put Gimli so inside. There'll uh, be Gimli like inside you. an R2 and D2 get, box. Uh, a Gimli figurine? And then get yes. under a Gimli dong. You know what? Fuck you guys. I'm going to make a PowerPoint yeah. presentation. <laughs> For oh how gosh. much I know the difference oh God, of R2D2 yes, and Gimli. Can we have can we have spray All right. Yeah. Spread them sheets? Yes. Spread. You can, will, you should do I that, but only with a spreadsheet. Oh my god. You need, uh, you need I will to put I will pay food. money for this. Okay. Do do it on your do it do it Real. on your no, next no. episode that you host. Yeah. Okay. All right. Neil. Neil. Some nerdy news. Yeah. Have the floor. All right. We're we're gonna start off with um, where was it here? I just saw it. Crap. Anywho, uh, so Green Lantern is getting a series at HBO Max, according to, yeah. So this will be interesting. Um, I'm a pretty big fan of Green Lantern, and I'm pretty excited to see what they're gonna do at HBO. Dude, do we know anything about the cast? Yeah, is there anything? Oh, uh, let's about? see here. Ryan Reynolds coming back. <laughs> no, there's fired. there's there's no there's no news on the cast yet. Okay. Yeah, no, but it's going to be there. They they list all the Green Lanterns yeah, right, they're going to use in it, and it's going to be pretty a pretty diverse cast. Nice. Like storylines or. They, oh no! Like like uh, the characters will be actually diverse. They're, you're gonna have a Muslim Green Lantern on it. Did you just call like it, it or Muslim? Or is there gonna be midget? I, I was trying to be. You said Muslim. Like a moose. Muslim. Yes. Muslim. Yes. Muslim. Moose. Could be moose. Muslim. Islamic. Canadian. Islamic. Muslim. A Canadian Green Lantern. Moose. Yeah. So there's gonna be. <laughs> There's you know, going to be a Muslim be Green Lantern. There you go. Muslim. <laughs> Muslim. 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 Okay. All right. So Green Lantern. Oh, my God. You slurp uh, it's so gonna be... loud, Neil. Good. Right. I want one. Uh... Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Are you allowed what kisser Neil? <laughs> You'll have to check my resume. <laughs> Bring her over. Bring one of your, <laughs> bring your fuck girls over. Your house. Right. Don't say that. Don't so in other, in other news, Benedict Cumberbatch's um, Doctor That's Strange is right? going to be in Spider-Man 3. Okay. Yeah, let's talk about that. As, as Doctor Strange. That post? Yeah. Benedict oh, wow. Cucumber. Seriously, seriously fucking reprising a live action Spider-Verse? Did you guys see Maybe. that? The the Wanda yeah. WandaVision <laughs> melting into the Spider-Verse situation? Yeah. Yeah. There was a middle factor though. Neil, do you know what I'm talking about? Not at all. I'm so kidding. you're you you're 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 mentioning that uh WandaVision actually ties in a bit with uh Multiverse of Madness and Spider-Man 3. Confirmed? Yes, yeah. and, then, and I don't think it is confirmed. I think that it might have been like a fan suggestion and it was turned into a mm. meme, but I saw that this week. But it made me excited because WandaVision, I can't wait for the costumes and everything. Oh, oh yeah. yes, no. yes. Okay. So yeah, I, I think with I that. I'm excited about the, the Spider-Verse and the discussions about that. I just really don't I, care like, for the original Spider-Verse. I just really, really don't care. <laughs> they're really <laughs> about, uh, Oh my gosh. <laughs> This is why you get, you get learn you're getting like, all the spider men yeah. in it yeah. from all the live the action movies. Spiders and the men. Oh, all the way. Yeah. Sarah, can you name all three Spider-Man <laughs> actors? <laughs> uh, hold on. <laughs> there's... Wrong, wrong names only. Wrong names only. <laughs> you, know, you know who else okay. is going to be back? Jamie Foxx is going to be back. Wrong names only. Yeah, I read that. Keanu Reeves. I'm so excited. That's confirmed. Yes. That is confirmed. For sure. So, guys, Jamie Foxx. 
Electra. Right? Yeah, you heard it. Fucking, many them. You heard it. Fucking Ray Charles. How about Electra? Jamie Fry has fucking back. Right? Who the fuck is Mike Tyson? Do that shit. I'm going to electrocute your ass. I don't know where you're at. So fucking I'm now picturing Ray Charles as, ele- as Electro. <laughs> Just fucking. <laughs> I like Ray it Charles. even more. <laughs> Ray Charles. So that's like the best. So what are you saying about um, Benedict? Come back. Oh, Cumber cucumber Stamp. batch. Yeah. He's uh, <laughs> so he's gonna star in Spider Man Three. Exactly. Yeah. Which hey, the, the rumored the rumored Spider Verse movie. Him said that. So so yeah. the that was the second factor that I was thinking about that I can remember. Mm. So this would tie in with Spider Man because mm-hmm. Doctor Strange's next movie, Multiverse of Madness, means. Okay. The multiverse is at the helm of this here. Exactly. And it ties in. I, I, the theory, I think, ties in with Wanda, WandaVision because Wanda still has not gotten over the loss of um, Vision. So she creates realities in her head where they both, you know, they, he didn't die. They They're lived happily together. ever after. Yeah. yeah. So. Right. Th- if you had it's going to be well, she's, dude, it, I, I, that's it's really powerful so like we, there's, no, a yeah, story yeah. Line, mm-hmm. there's a storyline there's a storyline um called oh i forgot what the hell it was called it was a big marvel event but basically what happened was wanda had like a miscarriage or something and oh. it like drove her nuts mm-hmm. like she couldn't cope with the loss so she create recreated reality where her kids were fine and it basically were ended up that mutants were um basically ruling the world so like magneto and his family were like the rulers of the world mm-hmm. and only only a few heroes knew that this wasn't the right storyline. Um, so, so I just wanted to touch on the, what you're talking about is, and, and something that they don't really explore so much in the movies is exactly how powerful she actually is. This isn't something that she's living out through her head. It's something that she's able to create. And that's why it's so amazing that they are doing one of yes. this is happening because they are going to dig into that. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. she's like Jimmy. she's like ridiculously ridiculously fucking powerful and they only touch on it a little bit in mm-hmm. any of the movies. You know, yeah. just, like, superhero can like, we talk oh, about the actress they chose for her? I loved her. Absolutely. Yes. Elizabeth Olsen. She was yeah. phenomenal. Even like the way she looked, I kind of like pictured. I don't know, like yeah. It works. She's she's my favorite Olsen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So <laughs> Thumper himself yeah, knows what I'm talking about here. He he knows what's going on with this here. It's a pretty complex thing, but yeah. I think this will be the way, like he said there, for them to bring in the X Men into the MCU. That'd be dope. That is exciting. Wow. That is very exciting. That is that is something that I've been anticipating for a while now. That's kind of wow. Yeah. All right. So I think the next biggest thing, like with when it comes to the X Men, that I mean, the the role of Wolverine slash Logan is pretty big, and I mean, we all know. Well, Hugh Jackman said he wasn't gonna. Um, <laughs> He said he wasn't going to reprise his role yeah. after Logan. Fuck you, so, Hugh Jackman. You're the only Wolverine ever. So there, that there means... I would definitely go... We're waiting. Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy would be a definitely yeah. good... I think I he would be a good he's choice, but... He's stocky enough to be a fucking good Wolverine. Remember, we were, I was even talking about uh, Tom Cruise. Stuff. Yeah. He's short. Yeah, actually, so, Jimmy just said Tom Cruise <laughs> may be Iron Man. In the oh. multiverse of madness, which ew, like I can't see that personally. Wolverine, I want to see okay. it. Wolverine. Wolverine, I'll accept. Yeah. No, but, not my Iron Man. Whoa. I just not don't wait, like wait. Tom Cruise. I mean, he's a Tom good Cruise actor, is but... like the perfect height for Wolverine. Yeah, that's what <laughs> yeah. Did you see him in Far and Away? Yeah. 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 Yeah
You got me both. Oh done. my god, Corey says he wants Shia LaBeouf as Wolverine. Fuck off. Yes. Yes. No. He's have the you, perfect size seen, for have you seen him lately? No. He's been, he's Ryan been Reynolds is only ball. Deadpool, Jimmy. Yeah. He was perfect for Deadpool. He redeemed himself. Shia LaBeouf playing Wolverine. No. Yes. See? No. You see? Yes. Okay. See? Okay. The so Shantae here's who. This is a pretty fucking deep acceptance. It takes a lot to get her sealed. Yeah. Approval. Seriously. She's like absolutely zero, zero tolerance for fucking Tom Cruise playing. She hates fucking, everybody. She hates <laughs> everybody. Same. But, uh, but a Shia LaBeouf, I can see it. I can I definitely like, see okay. it. Okay. He's got <laughs> a beard structure and he can get pretty buff and he's not, he's not that tall of a man. So what, what about, um, Oh, they're going to have different realities where different people are the heroes, Jimmy Shaw yeah. says. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and they're going to be, so the idea is um, they'll get like <laughs> actors and actresses that were sort of tied with these roles for the movies in the 90s and maybe even early 2000s. Yeah. Good, Jimmy. I'm glad to hear that he's pushing you. John Lamb, so, yeah. hi, John. Says Tom Cruise is going to make a movie in space. Flight's already booked on a SpaceX crew dragon. <laughs> I know. Just in space. Well, did you guys no. did you guys hear that Fast Fast Nine is actually going to take place in space? Like some Fuck of it's going to be in space. not. It is. Okay. Ludacris no. confirmed it. Explain no. the time situation for people who don't know. Oh, they're going to drive the fucking car. Oh, space so. Elon Musk fucking Elon Musk. Motherfucking. So the idea funny. was, the idea was with how ridiculous Fast yeah. and the Furious franchise Don't has you, gotten Fuck the only a. thing they needed to do was to go to space and then after and space little... after, so after space it has to be time travel because they it's do, so it that, is right? it's yeah. it's incredibly really, ridiculous really we need to go faster <laughs> into the future now. fast 10. no 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 so so how do you drive in space drove in earth they drove from building to building drove from the fucking sky in the airplane they propel yeah, yeah. So, so, uh, so they uh, need time travel to explain why Han is, you know, still in the movies and not dead <laughs> like he was like a dec over a decade ago. So yeah. they're going to use time travel to explain why Han is still around. Wait, dude, did you watch the? Did you see Milky the, Ray how the timeline Rip. goes for the Fast and Furious movies? It's Wait, all Han. fucked up. Yeah, Han was in part three. Part three. He was yeah. Tokyo Drift. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I'm like, there's yeah. literally no other Han but the time, in the world for me. <laughs> the but timeline of all those fucking Star movies is it's completely just, fucked yeah. up. It, it's it's messed up. It. It's yeah. completely yeah. fucked up. I'm pretty sure I lost track okay. after the third okay. one. Since, okay, this is, has nothing to do with it. It just hit me right now. But I don't know if, Neil, you're going to get to it. But I wanted you to get to it. The remake and reboot of Resident Evil. Origin. Oh yeah. oh yeah. And then the what cast. It's coming from movie nineteen. Be? It's coming from nineteen ninety. It's either three or seven. I can't remember exactly. I'm, folks, if you guys, if, I'm pretty any sure of you it was folks, ninety-seven. Yeah. What's going on here? So the reboot. Yes, Jimmy. It's always too right. soon. Resident. Okay. Are we talking about I, when I the movie came out or when the games you, came out? You can the redo movies. that one, please. The movies came out, I believe, in two thousand and one. Yeah, but they're they're yeah. they're Let's rebooting see. back to the game origin. The yeah, game yeah, because yeah. the game came yeah, out. Yeah, because the the movies the, the movies were very yeah. loosely based on the games. Like they got the characters yeah, right, zombie, but yeah. like that was about it. That was well, maybe they That's didn't get the characters bad. right. They just showed up, yeah. and like nothing really was like. No. The first one is the closest to how the games are. The rest, they just like di yeah. diverge so brutally. And like, actually, the villain part, they sort of got right too. Albert Wesker always gets away at the end. Yeah. He's like yeah. Claw. Right. The claw of uh, the claw That's of Capcom yeah. games. And they could have did without the main character. Because the claw from Inspector Gadget. Dude, yeah, claw, he always gets away. Always gets away. The liquors were right. It's Dude, totally it's like, the, like, I, 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 they were. <laughs> I understand people are going to be thinking like too early, but no, you can reboot that one, please. I mean, other than the first, yes. one, fuck that one. I fucking care about that. It's always hard franchise. for me when they do that because I like the main. I get devoted. The, I get devoted to it. 
Like I got, I got like. I'm invested, man. Yeah, oh, dude, I got invested in 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 Mila because she's. Amazing. Oh God, yes, I love she's her. Amazing. She was like the best see, Alice ever. Did you, guys, you see Monster Hunter? Is it called today. Monster Hunter? It's no, Monster Hunter. Yeah, is Mila in it? Dope. Mila she's in it. Because the same dude that's doing Monster Hunter was the same guy that did the Resident Resident right. Evil movies. So he's like, let's call Anderson Bro. or whatever. Come here. Nice. Come here, Mila. Come here with me. Let's do this thing. Right? It's it's like it's like when uh 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 well, Tim Burton talks to fucking Johnny Depp. He yeah. doesn't even give him a plot. He's just like, hey Johnny Depp, and Johnny Depp's like, yes. Hey Johnny Depp, and so just hey Johnny. Hey Johnny <laughs> Depp. <laughs> and Johnny <laughs> Depp is like, you son of a bitch. I mean, <laughs> that's exactly so, right. So yeah. So sorry. if do you guys know what Monster Hunter is? No, no we, but I'm yes. extremely interested. In so right. it's de- de- so, at. So basically, it's what it, the name and titles. You just hunt monsters in it. You 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 choose like your class. Think of it like D and D. You know, oh, you have various say. classes, okay. but you go and fight giant ass like di- dinosaur monsters, and they're pretty badass, and they have badass names. And I I'm only saying this. I've only played one Monster Hunter game, and it was for like. It was, it came out like a decade ago. What I platform never actually, are they on? Based on a game. So the they're currently on current gen platforms, and they are one of the most popular games out there right now. Is it like um, a but, situation like an online game or? Oh, yeah, you can play it online with friends, or you could play it solo. Although it'd be really hard solo. It's one of those games where like it's a bit better if you ha if you play with your friends on it. Not in that way. It's I know where you guys are. When you play with your friends. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Yeah, Jimmy Jimmy says it right. It's a sandbox video game. So Malcolm, it's it's sort of like how Red Dead Redemption 2 is in that you could go around in the world and do as you want. In this one you just go around and take contracts to hunt monsters. Okay, so that's fun. That is fun, yeah. yeah. So just like Red Dead Redemption, it's like it's fun when you make friends and then you do shit together, but you can do it alone too. Yeah, it's just kind of not quite as fun alone. I just didn't but, know if this was yeah. like an I'm online sure situation or if it was for a gaming system. Down, like, do you buy this game? Oh. Or no. Yeah, you could buy it for like any any current gen console at the moment. So you could get it for Switch, PS4, Xbox One, PC. Uh, it's available for all of them. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, it might. When does right. PS5? Come? It has to be. Um, in a couple of months. <laughs> I just keep seeing these memes where dudes want to hump right. aunties and they say, "You want the PS5 or what?" What the right, fuck, so prickly pickle Rex? Just waiting for Layla and that's endangered that's dinosaurs. Yeah, that's so it'll probably come around much Christmas time, right? So all the kids will want likely. it. All right, Neil, keep going. What do you get? What oh, else you yeah. For? So pivoting, going to you know the more family friendly part there. So uh, <laughs> Pixar's movie Soul is going to be released exclusively on Disney Plus on Christmas Day. Oh, yeah. Okay. So. Yeah, it looks like it'll be the same deal that Mulan had. So you can pay a little bit extra to have it on Christmas exactly. Day when it releases. What, well, to keep all those motherfucking kids in line? Mm-hmm. So to give you an oh, idea sad. of like who directed this movie, so the director that, that did this one did uh, two other Pixar movies. They did uh, Up and Inside Out. Oh, nice. Love both of those. Nice. Love yeah. the pressing ones that we don't watch because we're... <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you'd be hard. If it makes you cry, you have to buy. I feel like Fucking Bugs is the only I'm Pixar movie that isn't quite as like emotional as the other ones. I mean, you know what? No, no. When that no, badass no. caterpillar becomes a butterfly, I was invested. <laughs> So, so I'm trying to look up so what this movie is about. 
Yeah, go. Uh, I can't really see anything about what it's what it's about here. The article doesn't really mention okay. much about it. What is the about? animation? Like, what does the poster, who's, what's in it? Is it animals? Or it what? looks, it looks like ghosts, to be honest. I mean, it's called So Soul, but oh, it, yeah. they, it looks like uh, three gonna ghosts. Be, I thought it was going to be a foot fetish thing, but okay. Oh, God. <laughs> How is it spelled? S O L E or S O U L? S O U L. Okay, then it's definitely not Tootsie Soul. Footsie. <laughs> um right, yeah so that's what i sort of have for now i thought i had my article here but uh but oh you yeah Fuck you, there's man. a bunch of movies that have been delayed till 2021 yeah so um and some others have been delayed till 2022 <laughs> so, so like movies there are like other things coming out this month though oh there's a few like they're still surprisingly releasing to some of the theaters. Um, but I think how Tenant performed at the box office has deterred a lot of yeah. studios from releasing them right now because they didn't make as much as they thought they did. Yeah. Yeah. But it, I mean, I think I, these streaming thing, the streaming businesses, they know what's up. Yeah. Nobody's oh. in the theaters anymore. No. no. Well, see, I think we won't see that until maybe 2021 or 2022. But uh, well, a lot yeah, of we oh, have Mandalorian coming out this month, and then oh, don't we also have Walking Dead? Walking Dead dropped. Yeah, you know, I, think I still that. haven't watched Walking Dead. I know you guys are gonna be a whole bunch of shit, but I haven't. I it's okay. I don't watch it anymore either. I watched it. I love it. Yeah. I watched that. I watched. I mean, the world beyond. Mm -hmm. I kind of stopped. I kind of stopped after season five. That was well, just me. <laughs> I was not invested. Somebody in died, and you head. couldn't handle it. It took starting a relationship <clears throat> with Christopher to get me into it. So, Sarah, just trust us. Get through a couple of episodes, and then you're gonna be in. It's golden. That was like the Game of Thrones. So I was fucking hooked after like the first three, four episodes. Yeah, I've watched it in like five one, times, all of all the way through. Like the first three seasons of Walking Dead, I would say are probably like the best of the Walking Dead. Before they get really deep into where they are right now, but I would say, yeah. yeah, actually, sorry, season two is not the best. <laughs> season one <laughs> and three are great. Okay. These guys will know what I'm talking about when I say the farmhouse. Oh. Somebody dies and everybody cries. Uh, not, That's normally how it goes. Not really. I'm firmly... Oh my god! Corey hasn't watched Game of Thrones. Corey, your homework is to watch Game of Thrones. Stop after season five, Corey. <laughs> Same with no, you, Victor. With... Stop stop after season five. It's disappointment after that. <laughs> what, with Game of Thrones? <laughs> yeah. You have to finish it. You just, you have to. I mean, <laughs> season five is like peaks, peak Game of Thrones. No, like, you have to finish yeah. the story. Because then winter comes and some shit happens and then stuff happens. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm down for all of it. I honestly, like, <laughs> you're I'm like sorry. TV. But Game of Thrones, fucking The Walking Dead. I I don't really give a shit. What I did else, hear so. about Glenn, right? It was the guy, the hot guy with the baseball bat with barbed wire. He smashed just Glenn's okay. head. Yeah, that that leads into that leads into something else. A part of this episode, <laughs> so it's kind of dope. <laughs> Mention Glenn. Oh my gosh, I was about yeah. to say. <laughs> I thought it was something else. I thought you were referring to Jeffrey Dean Morgan. I'm like, oh, no. what movie has he been in recently? <laughs> no. No, no, no. I need to watch no, it. Later, it's later on in the episode. Um, you know, well, I would. I was gonna move on, but let's just, I guess, keep talking a little bit about this. Um, yeah. Like, Mal like Malcolm, I'm a little bit on the other side of the fence. I enjoy all of it. I'm. I find that, like it's 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 kind of weird of me to do this because in life I'm not like this. Like in life I'm like fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. I don't like you. You're human. Fuck you. But when it comes to like shows that I've engulfed myself in, mm -hmm. I don't nitpick about what's uh what's what what's what and what's correct when it comes to like uh, the continuity as far as comic books or any of that, right? Like the stories have been well written, 
um, characters have been developed and created very fucking well. And um, I know that I'm going to get fucking flack for saying this, but the ending of Game of Thrones is what it was, and it was fucking good. Like, everybody expected something and anticipated something, and if you don't go in there trying to anticipate something or expect anything of it, then you're yeah. going to be fucking greatly... You're going to be happy. You're going to ah, you're gonna greatly appreciate it. what happened, right? And But most people wanted anticipated and wanted something more but didn't get what they wanted the people right? who wanted love and for everything else that was but good the, to persevere and i i but it, but I it, think it was like it, it was a perfect fucking circle I, what the story was about which was brand well yeah i, I think and you didn't I, know it was it about was, brand until last just, season i mean you had to you had to have known that it was about fucking brand because in the very first fucking episode it's that about brand right and like it's, that makes sense every, every other thing that revolved around what was going on was just about what brand would become and that's there was a whole it. and i thought there was a whole that. season there was a whole season where Bran didn't show up in it. I think it was season five. Bran was just gone. He was just, they didn't show him at all in it because they wanted, but I mean, what I was also sort of, crap, I lost my train of thought. Go ahead. <laughs> Hello, Pot. No, how are just, you? I was just saying, I was just saying. That, I'm like, fine. <laughs> I was just saying The Walking Dead. The Walking Dead was good for what it was. The, the Walking mm. Dead is great. You know, like, the storylines have been good. Like, I mean, I'm just, I'm just, you can't, like everything else, you just, just can't, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, oh, you just, you just yeah. fucking can't, man. Like, I remember my train of thought. She's pulling back into the station. <laughs> There it is. No. So I just think Back there probably it. should have been an extra season for Game of Thrones, like b before they got to the ending that they got. I think the there build? should have been a whole Where other that season. That person is with those things, happy and breathing and everything. Yeah, I agree. No, no. I mean, like, they could have used another season in between to end where they ended at. That's that's it my whole thing. It did feel like it stopped abruptly. I I agree. Like the, it was. the between the the I think is seventh the last one between the sixth and seventh it was like. <laughs> well, the Are the producers. Okay. No. <laughs> What'd she say? Okay, Malcolm. It's break time, guys. Oh, good. Oh, all right. I'll still talk about it. I'm just saying. I don't have to pee yet. <laughs> Jimmy yet. disagrees. What else is new? I'm only like. Go ahead. I mean, this is a brand new bottle, so I'm chilling. <laughs> I'm going to be right back. <laughs> all right, everybody. We're going to take a break for 10 minutes. Uh, we'll, I'm we'll going to be it. here. I will share memes. Okay. The rest of us are going to break. Okay. Jeez. Fuck y'all. Anyway, hi, this welcome to the Sarah Show. Welcome to the girls of F This. Oh, yay, Shantae's sticking it out with me. I love it. I'm just loving how shiny your hair is. Really? Like, you know what? I know it's something hilarious. What? I didn't wash my hair today or yesterday, so I, like, washed my bangs so that yeah. they would sit right, and they did. <laughs> I used to do that too. Like you can't wash your hair every day, especially no, because then it gets dry, especially in California. Like right now the weather's just starting to get nice. Everything's like cooling down and I had all the windows and doors open a day. So this is like my favorite really? time. Of the you, transition. Like, you guys can like breathe right now and the air is nice. I wouldn't say breathe, but <laughs> I mean, it's nice, especially cause I'm like, South well, where you live too in California, you're not like you're not close to like city. No, I'm not like super close to LA or like San Bernardino or anything like that. So your air is a little better quality. It's always, especially because it's windy as fuck here. In fact, they refer to it as Blomont, you know, as opposed to Beaumont because it's always really? just yeah, because we have like the Santa Anas all the time. <laughs> well, that's what I was gonna ask next next is that be because of the time of the year, isn't it Santa Ana time? 
Um, it's getting there. I'm not in San Bernardino, so I don't know how they're doing. If anybody like Jimmy, I know is in Washington, so he would know. Jennifer, if you know, or if any of my California peeps in San Bernardino know like how it's going. I don't think it's been too bad. Otherwise, Facebook would have been like, oh my God, my cat was, you know, blown away with the trampoline. It's also why like the fall is fire season because the winds are psychotic. Yes. You know what? The fires have already burnt everything. Yes. So I think we're okay <laughs> just like what sucks right now though is that because everything was on fire now it's going to be fall and winter mudslide. everything is rainy <clears throat> mudslide i'm really worried about that everyone who lives on the hills or yes all- your mom especially yeah. i mean i know that she was surrounded by a lot of vegetation but uh janine if you could check in and let us know that you're not gonna like float away on a mudslide She's fine because of where the the self-storage the business is located and like the five points in crestline up there she's gonna be fine her house is fine it's like in the middle of everything she's not on the side of a hill or anything like that oh that's good yeah she's cool then because they saw all those all those trees however i mean in banning and even up here like that hill behind us hadn't burnt i want to say in like five years Mm -hmm. the last fire we had was like maybe five years ago and even then it didn't get to to the capacity that it did Mm -hmm. um like everybody was all fucked off okay john lamb is checking in from san rio no real santa Ana win so far this year but they normally get better on halloween so we'll see in the next few weeks true because where i always is, remember where does john live john's like up there by north park elementary okay on the like the north end so like that's like hot spot central san rio yeah but like he's in a nice enough area where he's not gonna get shanked for being in his front yard it's true that's great that's always a good thing <laughs> true. Well, I felt, you know safe as a north park student yeah i mean well, well and then nice north park nice elementary day. remember had that guy that like went berserk and killed his wife and fucking locked down and then it's true that happened and then i do remember while i was going there there was some type of guy trying to get on campus or yep you know like at the school it was some crazy family thing you well, know, even at like Serrano, like middle school, Serrano, mm-hmm. um, there was like always somebody on the hill with a sniper rifle. And then we were locked down for like three, four hours and our parents were going crazy. And back then we didn't really have good smartphones like we do now. It's true, we like, didn't. Everyone had those colored. Nokia. Yeah, no, those huge Nokia brick motherfuckers. We like, and it's funny. Happy one in like, times. yeah, one in a hundred kids had like service. <laughs> like it was. It was always their parents' phone. And it's like, oh, I can't call my mom at work because she's driving home. Oh, the yeah, watcher's I household. I, I, how am I going to tell you I'm here? Oh, yeah, like it was just, well, I guess they're okay because they're not on the news, you know? And then, like, <laughs> don't you miss being, like, young? And I think we grew up in the perfect time where it was, like, just in between the technological we age. At, like, Well, our... Our generation is the generation that didn't have computers and didn't have cell phones. Yes, but we still were able to grow up in the tech age where we could understand things more fluent when it mm-hmm. comes to like computers and stuff. We're the ones teaching yeah. our parents how to use cell phones, how to use computers mm-hmm. and all that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we have access to like the world of knowledge. We're not using it, but for like memes and like cat postcards, but <laughs> there's literally nothing else to use it for. Yeah, I really especially <laughs> right now with coronavirus. Ew, I'm sorry. Yeah. Like w- it was just gross. Like I heard the word coronavirus in November of 2019 from probably my Facebooking or whatever. But I was like, oh, it's probably like swine flu. <clears throat> Do you guys know anybody that got swine flu? Because I fucking didn't. No. Like nobody. No. Nobody. And then it was like the people who were like extremely old and fucked off and like they opened an envelope with stars attached inside. I'm not sure. But then like as with the presidential debates, they're like, well, remember swine flu? And I'm like, fucking no. Like oh, Ebola, remember, maybe. But yeah. it doesn't affect anybody. No. And they're trying to like compare it like, um... The United States, I'm very sad to say that my country is like the worst out of all of the mm-hmm. non-third world countries for death toll. Oh, I can't read it. Everyone knows. Everyone's watching. <laughs> Everyone knows. Everyone's watching. You know what? The U.S. doesn't suck that bad, though, you guys. like. It's very sad also because um, the U.S., That I know how everyone's like, fake news, fake news, blah, blah, blah. 
Um, that shit is true. Like that fake news stuff. I feel like you guys do get fake news and or yeah. not all of it. And my mom was saying too, like, um, like Trump will go do speeches and stuff, and then like uh, all the all the news, um, the news channels are like not even putting his speeches up anymore. They just kind of do yeah. like cliff notes because he's such a retard. Well, and then like In somebody Canada, talked to him. We see it all. The shit that yeah. we don't show. I, it's so awesome because we don't see shit from you guys. There's so much going on in our country that, like, Canada, I like to call it Canadia sometimes because it's fun to say, I but too. from Canada, we, we don't hear shit from you guys. We're like, oh, well, Trudeau's doing, you know, picking his ass, the wedgie, and we're like, and oh. This is also why everyone thinks that can, or Canada is, well, my, I'm sorry, my cousin, my, my young cousin, he says, you live in Candyland. Your life is great up there, la, la, la. You've forgotten what it's like. I'm like, what's um, like? just so you guys know. <laughs> I know I'm in Canada, but guess what? I'm still voting. <laughs> yeah. Sarah, are you uh, and also, get your mail in ballot? The oh, the fuck I did. Yep. Mm -hmm. right. And also, I we don't love Trudeau as much as the whole world thinks we do. I mean, no, <laughs> but that's to be expected. And what's funny is everybody. No, no, I mean, like, no, I said no. How sexy. Everybody's, is yeah, like, everybody's oh, always wow. swooning over Trudeau. It's like the only people that aren't swooning over Trudeau are Canadians. Right, so Canadians. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we've touched on topics that uh, we were probably going to touch on earlier. But, well, just uh, wait. We're still on break. No. Yeah. Not. Malcolm's coming back. Two minutes. He said we're good to go. I thought he said 10 minutes. Okay. Well, one more minute. We're just, you know. All right. Us but, girls. Among us girls, just having a little combo. <laughs> right? Yeah. A little tea party. Mm -hmm. uh, politics <clears throat> is a, a, a dark and scary road to fucking fall into. Yeah, but, but we're not going all cray cray. We're just kind of like skimming is one of those the top. People, he calls us libtards and he says we live in Candyland. And like we went all these years living in can in you know in, in the US and all that. And like every every the whole time Obama was in office, I voted and I Everyone needs to realize that everyone needs to vote for the Senate and everyone needs to vote for Congress. Their, their, the Congress and yes. the governors and, and all that a shit. Cat. Like shit yes. rock, right? It's not even about the fucking president. Let's get this piece of shit out, of course, but for sure. But that's not where the real the right people here, that politics start. Here's the thing you have to get rid of all of the pieces of shit mm -hmm. before yep. anything is changed. All yep. those old rich dudes need to go. Go. They, they need, need to, to put a rich. cap on that shit for fucking sure. Need and money off of the U.S. suffrage. And for the Supreme Court, like, what the fuck is this lifetime role bullshit? Um, no. What happens if somebody gets like some kind of bad disease where they're not themselves? Like, they're still in that position. No, you need to be able to have a cap, vote them out, mm -hmm. or I think just a cap is is gonna good be good all around. Have more seats on the Senate too, like. What's the nation has a cap on their pay and their jobs and all that. I think these old why ca yeah cap, cap their pay but to... cap their career too. Like you are not allowed to serve more than like an eight year term. Like so fuck the you, why people sitting yeah. there who have been there since forever for fifty years, fifty years, racism and all this other yep. shit was still fine. Yeah, if it was it where black people are scared to freaking drive through. You have to yep. tell them, don't stop here. Go here. This is safe. Don't stop here. And that's, that's, that's not okay today. This is like United 2020. States. Why are we still having to look out for our, our people of color friends? You know what I mean? Like, why our is this still an issue? Human beings. Yeah. Somebody who bleeds the same blood that we do. Because you of, know, and it's not of, only. Because of an ancient oligarchy that, you, that people still fucking believe in. And I get it called yeah. the libtard and a communist all the time because of saying stuff like that it, it's just it's just really stupid like i said it's a it's a fucking it's a patriarchy we need young people it's a, it's a patriarchy that needs to fucking go it's an oligarchy mm -hmm. that needs to fucking disappear you you're running on a system that was created in the 18 fucking hundreds right that was, that followed that followed a fucking book that was created ten thousand years ago a single book you stupid cunts just Chris is back. Just, this is episode. Just, there he is. Just, <laughs> Hi, please, Chris. Please. All right. Just use your fucking brains and, and stop. Like, you have to understand that the people who are in charge are grasshoppers. And we are ants. Mm -hmm. 
and we're all terrified for the wrong fucking reasons. <laughs> what did he say? And we just, I, we just please, just, just like I, 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 I preach this all the fucking goddamn fucking time, and it's like I preach to the, I preach to the morons because nobody, nobody wants to or has a desire to try. Like we, 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 we still follow a system. We still follow a voting system that is that is that is still run by 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 an oligarchy that is still so archaic, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, it's so bad. Like we need to get I'm, 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 I'm like I'm, I'm half intelligent as as a lot of fucking people, and this is how much I fucking know myself. So yeah. just just be slightly smart and stop being slightly fucking stupid. And do your own fucking research. Don't watch the news and say, oh, that must be true. Google that shit. Like, have reputable sources. I'm so sick and tired of people saying, oh, well, I found this article from The Onion. And it's like, oh, it's so true. Like, The Onion is a satire site. But they believe this shit. And so I'm, it's like, I'm just, no. I'm just, I'm just saying there's, there's like, so much more to it. That, there really that, is, Chris, yeah. There is so much fucking more to it, but it's a very simple solution. All that shit was like built science, on it's, the it's, backs of slaves and slave owners, and I mean, science has always had it fucking right. There's, there, it's a straight line. Mm-hmm. There's, there's a simple solution to every fucking problem, and it's always a fucking straight line. If you mm-hmm. can't fucking find that straight line, that's on you're you. not on the right path. That's on you, man. That's on you for not looking for the right line. Mm-hmm. So I, I'm just saying, if if we were if we were to unite as a people, which we can't because we're people. Not but right if we now, were to no. if we were to unite the, as a people, all we have to do is push them over. We need to get rid That's of it. a lot the of very fucking a lot of hate thing. and a lot of people who are grown up on that hate and that gross stuff. I'm honestly kind of scared that it will be not like a militia issue, but it's going to come down to where there's at least some big shit like november is going to be a kind of a scary time (laughs) trudeau said trudeau said this week canada needs to be ready for trump not leaving in a happy successful manner or whatever it's not going to be good guys the peaceful transfer of power if he does if he doesn't they are able to send in the special task forces and gently remove him. <laughs> but I'm going to go into something right now. His shoulders, please. I'm hoping. And, and I, know it, it seems cra- I know it seems crazy and silly to you that Canadians are totally all about what's going on in the U.S. politically. But it, everything it, affects Canada as far as trading no, and all that it, stuff. It affects, affects everybody. It affects the rest of the mm-hmm. world. Everything that goes on in the rest of the world affects everybody else. I do not think Trump is going to win this one. I think that he's going to lose and then he's going to end up going into a different country because he's either, well, (laughs) I don't think he will. He can't be extradited. That's why he's not going to go. Yeah, exactly, Chris. He's going to go east, I think. He's going to like bunk up with his buddy over there in Russia. Somewhere where he can't be extradited. Yeah, for sure. But I mean, his wife is, uh, she's not Ukrainian. She's Slavic, I think. But I don't know. It's its Russian. It's, you know, Czech Republic. You know what I mean? One of those places. Yeah. So, I mean, I think that would be the next place that they would go. And we'll see what happens. Because he was like, if you guys don't vote me into office, you'll never hear from me again. And I'm like, yeah, fucking promise. Please? <laughs> Why is that a threat? That's like, I, that sounds that's like a, a threat. He just that. won my not vote. I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm yeah. just, I, the thing that's, that okay, like I, 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 I mentioned this before. It's that him being president isn't the appalling thing. Yeah. You had Ronald Reagan as a president who was also an actor, right? So there, there's, there's a precedent that was sent, that was established that, you know, somebody who wasn't exactly into politics can become your president, right? Reagan became president later in life, but he was also an actor as well, right? Like they make jokes about that on movies where they're like, oh yeah, our our president's Ronald Reagan. And they're like, what, the actor? Well, I mean, look at Nixon. Nixon stepped down because of Watergate. Like it's not unheard of for all this bullshit to to come to a head. 
exactly and and everything will come to an end and i just i just i don't know i i think us as a human race is that we just need to evolve we yeah. need to evolve economically we need to evolve socially and we need to evolve i wouldn't say necessarily physically in the sense of our in the sense of what we are present in our body but mentally absolutely yeah. like just to be more progressive and yes. and whatever and, and be mean, more as far as being progressive i don't think we need to be so progressive like there's some conservative some things, aspect. Yeah. There's conservative aspects that still need to be fucking. Like I, I, I do like the idea of being couth. I don't need to know your fucking business. Your yep. business is your goddamn business. I and agree. We always joke about, and we always share our fucking business publicly on this fucking on. on yeah. Good, right? But I mean, but honestly, it's joke. like amongst it's like, friends. It's like we're co- no, it's like we're comedians, right? Because that's what <laughs> you're comedians goddamn do. right. That's what comedians do. <laughs> is we share really explicit details about our lives that are funny. It's anecdotal. So It is. So, We're in that sense, everything else in the world, like when you see me in public, you don't see that person on left of good. I don't you get to see you in public. <laughs> you don't see this person. When I'm at work, you don't even know that I exist like this on left, on, on, on uh, F this, right? Or left so, of good. Or left of good, or any of the other podcasts. Especially left of good. Like you, like you, you'll hear me cuss, but you don't ever hear what my mouth truly is like. When <laughs> public, Dirty, right? So that's the thing, right? That's that's something that's I consider like a private situation, right? Right, right. And uh, as being well, this being a, a comedic podcast, this is what we do. Yep. We, share explicit situations that are fucking anecdotal or are are just fucking funny right so i'm just i'm just there's 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 a very fine balance that needs to be fucking met balance is such a key word bro that we don't meet we're 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 always on the left or the right we're always the black or the white we're never in the gray. We're never in between. It's unheard of. You know what I mean? And yeah. I think that's actually, what you know what? I think that's more. what you mean. Like when you say that we have to uh, evolve, maybe that's the whole evolution. Like once this older generation, sorry, but dies off, right. then, you know, we'll be able to go more into this gray area. And eventually, in a couple of lifetimes, maybe it will be like, or 10,000 years, whichever. Right, but what will the problem be then? If there's not a problem, then there's not ever going to be any yeah. happiness. Like, I don't know what the problem will be. There? Yeah, That's like, what thing. else like, is we there? Just, we, we don't necessarily know or understand that aspect of anything. Right. Right, we only have, you know, we only have presumptions yeah. that we need balance, that we need something good in order for something to be bad or something bad to be good or something right. sad to be funny, right? Yeah. We, we, we think that we need these things. But what if we evolve to the point where none of these things that we feel are necessary? It's all trivial. Right. Right? That's what I'm getting at. Is yep. that, that we have to get to an existence where necessity is the important thing. Well, I mean, we're all going to die eventually anyway. So it doesn't matter how the fuck we feel or our kids feel. Because eventually we're all going to be dead. So there will be a middle of the road somewhere. If we just keep living, we may balance out. Or not. Or not. And then, you know, we nuke ourselves again all to hell. And then, you know, we start over. <laughs> Fresh beginning. I just, I just think it's, it's I just like, like, it's, the, that's the thing. Like, I'm, I'm in between the whole, should we exist or shouldn't we exist? Or should yeah. we, or should we just, or should I just fucking not care anymore? You know I, what? Just, I don't I, think I, you I'm should just, care. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just here having a good time now. Yeah, like, I agree with Jimmy. Nobody years, thinks for younger, themselves. In my younger angst years, I was all about it. I was all about yeah. it, you know, yeah. going against a, a, a platform that was established as not being right. And now yeah. I'm just like, uh, fuck you. I have some kids that I have to feed. So. You know what matters more is your children, your family, your wife, your friends. You know, the well-being of the world is like, whoa, Perfect. fuck, I hope that works out okay. <laughs> I really do, but you know what? Yeah. The funny thing is, is that in at some point we will no longer exist, but this planet still will until it doesn't. Yep. Uh, well, I mean, I don't you know. Don't... Like, life goes on. 
right? Like uh, the, the, I mean, I sit here and I, I look at the whole situation and I'm like, the reason why we're trying so hard and so desperately to try and fix the earth is so that we can exist in the earth. To keep going, yeah. As human beings. Yeah. See, if we cr keep going the way we're going, we will destroy enough of the earth so that we no longer exist. Just enough, and then when but the we earth don't will, exist, yeah. This earth will still rebuild itself and yeah. carry on. And we then don't. life will carry on, exactly. So it doesn't really- So it's almost it. selfish that it's, we are no, only it thinking of it's ourselves as a, ra a human race. We, we are, we're like a cancer. We only care about ourselves. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's, Do there's you think? No, there, there's, there's no, and, and we're, we're selfish cancer too, because oh, yeah. we, don't, we only cancer care about is selfish. our particular <laughs> self, right? We don't even care about each other in a unit. We care about ourselves individually yeah, or the small circle that we have or whatever the fucking case may be, right? Just to we generally can't, care. We can't, even, we can't even, we can't even, we can't even exist with other animals True. cohesively. Other than the domestic creatures that we fucking... We have like, to take so their skin and oh we have God. to take their ivory and we have to take their bones and make it into something aesthetic for ourselves as a species. We kind of suck dick, like, but in a not a good way. You know what I mean? Like, not in do you a fun think... Way? Do you, yeah, not in a fun way. So do you think, like, if there's any other aliens out there within our universe or, you know, collectively speaking, do you think they're just as greedy and selfish, like... Or, oh why why? well, why not? They're aliens, so maybe our human, whatever import is important to us, it's kind of like the host. I know I've talked about it before, but these aliens come because the Earth and the human people are just fucked off. They keep fighting and killing each other. So they come and they attach themselves, and they're like, we're going to fix your world, and the world is beautiful, and the world is great, but the humanity is ripped away, and that is why the world is renewed and everything is peaceful because humanity. So an alien has a lack of humanity. That's what it is. So, are aliens peaceful? Are they still kind of fucked in the, off? In the construct of what we think, maybe, because that's it. That's it. We only we are only confined by the construct of how we think. We haven't their been idea, selfish their forever. Idea, their idea of peaceful may be completely fucking different from what our idea of peaceful is. True. Right? True. So, the construct of anything that we think of is only what we can think of. It's that's all like, relative. That's like tell me, tell me what infinity is. You can't. It never ends. It's just always, ever, forever. I mean, but I no, like but, but, what you like, said. Seriously, it's all within the construct. That. Just think about that. Mm -hmm. You can't. No. You can't think our, of our brains don't understand that. Well, it doesn't no. understand that the universe is infinite. The word infinite is just like, what? It's like Albert Einstein said. The theory of relativity is sitting in a hot kitchen next to a very beautiful woman. It, you could sit in there for hours and not notice the heat. However, if you're sitting there alone, two seconds feels like two hours. It's wherever you redirect yourself. So it's all relative to each person. Yeah. Like maybe yeah, life is better, worse. Yeah, it's relative. It's perspective. So, you know, I think with exactly what you're saying is... We weren't always this way. Maybe is a point that we need to stick on. Like we were not always this wretched, fucking horrible species. I, I, I don't know about that. History I has think, proven that we have been. I history can prove it to you now. It didn't get really like this until we began competing with each other for space because you know we had a couple of people here and there. The world was large. We ha could move and and you know be nomads the, and do whatever okay, we wanted the, to in the very in the very beginning i could say yes but beyond the very beginning we have always been competing for something hence the reason we Food, have people yeah. like genghis khan or yeah. alexander the great or any of these people that are in history that wanted to conquer and take over hence but the, isn't that what makes us human to want to better ourselves it's not better to not be complacent that's not bettering ourselves at all that's just that's, that's just it's relative it's, it's all relative forward. to me being better is like saving lives if i were to ever become a doctor saving lives and and making advancements in my field of research mm -hmm. whereas being a better person to somebody else may be trumped to him being president is top notch that's why he wanted to be president because it's the only thing this asshole hadn't done Mm -hmm. Sorry to all my Trump people out there. I will not delete you, but that's just how I feel. I'm not a, a Trumper for me. Not. Biden is nowhere near better than Trump. However, when it comes He's down to the lesser of two, he, yes, they're all career politicians. Trump wasn't. 
Trump, no. has, Trump is not a politician at any means. He's any a greedy the asshole. Is he a politician? And and he he doesn't understand the construct of politics. He doesn't. But now he's got a taste of it. Of what it is. And now he's I, got I don't, a taste I don't of it. agree with the politics that is current or will be current or yeah. will exist because it needs to change. But you don't have a man who's running a country that knows how to run it at all. Or that even gives a fuck about it. Exactly. Or about him. But Where did everybody go? Where's Malcolm and Shante? I don't know. They're don't pooping. Know. I'm, I'm like, seriously, we're just like filling time so that we can get yeah. the Shanteism. And then Malcolm went to go give someone a ride somewhere. I don't know. But um, you're, I mean, you are correct. Everything is relative to your personal experience. But what I'm saying yeah. as, as, as we need to evolve into something that believes, I don't want us to be a hive mind, but I do yeah. believe that we need to be uni- unified. Yeah. But yeah. is that possible? And that's, that's an evolution that we, that, that's going to be a very long time that we get. Is to. that possible to be unified when there's billions and billions and billions of people, but billions here, of, of minds? Here's, here's the thing. <clears throat> Dolphins can be absolutely unified. They can live in a pod and be a part of other pods that intermingle amongst pods. Sure, you're going to have a few that are a little different and that will want to. But it's all for the one, the one thing, the but greater of the good of all. Right? You see a pod and it's, 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 it's a beautiful thing. And they say that, they say, not they, I don't know who they are, but they, they are saying that dolphins are smarter than human beings. Mm-hmm. Right? Just because we can speak it doesn't mean we're the most intelligent being on the planet. Or because we have opposable thumbs. It just means we've been here a little longer. The, yeah, or that was the that was the path that it, that was chosen for this species, right? So here's that thing that I'm saying: is they're able to co-mingle with themselves and other things in the planet, whereas we butt heads with each other, and all we do is consume. Well, I wonder, Chris. Like, what if, like, let's say that it wasn't a hive mind, but it was something that's just like the good of all versus the good of the few what if you and your family just so happened to fall into that gully where you guys were not considered for the good of all the good of many versus the good of the few what would you do to save your family and then that's where it all gets construed that's gets like but that's, that's dicey so as fuck because i know that, i'm very very capable of murder when it comes to my family very capable Absolutely, but the thing is, but the thing is, is in the bigger picture, right? I, I don't want it to happen to me. I don't want it to happen to anybody that I love and care about. Absolutely for not. The bigger picture. What? For the for the for the betterment of humanity, for the betterment of 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 our existence to coexist with not only ourselves but the planet and the other species on this planet. Can we just fucking forget ourselves for moments? Is all yeah. I'm saying. That's all I've ever said. If we can forget ourselves and be unified in just that. Jimmy says, no one does anything for the betterment of mankind. Thank money for that. Now, I wonder if we went back to barter and trade. You you traded what you didn't need for something that you needed more. I mean, is that better? I mean, we wouldn't have so much materialistic things well, pretty soon to fill the void. It doesn't matter. We're, we have to. <laughs> uh. Yes. All these people that have been canning and doing their own fucking Thing. fruit cellars and gardens, we're yeah. going to be depending on those people. Yeah, you know, yeah we're exactly. Gonna it's, we're going to be it's... trading cakes for <laughs> fucking moose meat and shit here yeah. in Canada. Like, 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 just, I'm just, I'm just saying. Oh, welcome you back, like Malcolm. That. He walked behind you, I saw him. I think he, right. I think he took Tyson to get beer. All right, let's move on. So the, the gonna... break was longer than expected. We're going to go and move on to Ashante-isms. Yeah, get us lit out of this bitch, Tashante. We got deep here for a quick minute. (laughs) (laughs) But we didn't argue. We didn't get mad. So I think it was, we just got kind of deep. You know what I mean? Like, we were fixing it. Yeah, for sure. She's got her baby. So yeah, we're we're just waiting a little bit longer. She's got. You guys will need my honey. Jimmy just recently started a hive and is a beekeeper. Nice. I thought that was really cool. Yeah. 
because we like more bees. Yeah. Oh no, we definitely need bees by the fucking buckets. But um, <laughs> as I human, mean, as the as a human being, we need more bees to yes. exist. All of the bees. All of the bees. Jimmy, you're a hero. You're saving the planet, or at least you're saving Washington. Um, bees are really fucking cute, though, especially the bumblebees with the big old butts. They're all fuzzy. Oh, my God. I wish they were big <laughs> enough so that I could squeeze it. You guys know that Honey, I Shrunk the Kids thing where the bumblebees all huge? Oh, my God. I just fucking squeeze the shit out of that guy. Woo! So soft. Are you welcome again to join us? <laughs> What is he like jamming out? I have no idea. With his fro? <laughs> his, his, his Wolverine fro. All right. Malcolm, nod your head if you're a butthole. You us? Can he hear me? Yeah. Oh, I'm just watching fucking oh, fuck. food videos. <laughs> Are you watching that fucking guy who doesn't know how to cook? You fucking guy. Matt, do you have to go back tonight? To the three people that are still with us. Normally, we don't have such a vacancy, like a large intermission. It's more constructive. Actually, we don't normally take breaks. Yeah, we don't normally normally take breaks. It's something something that we really should probably do is have intermissions. All right, so we're moving on. We're moving on to fucking Shantaeisms. Woo woo! You guys, I did not prepare. So we're not going to talk about no. Moose, moose no knuckles, here's the or? thing. My life is a Shantaeism right now. Yeah, I feel that I girl. Have, I have fucking weird thoughts all day, every day, and what I need to do is write them down. Well, I think we just kind of filled into the Shantae thing because we were like, "Well, are humans bad and aliens good?" So like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and then so- Neil was just there high as fuck to like hold on to the rails and go with the flow. <laughs> what I yeah, would, pretty I would much. Love is for people to tell us their weird shit. Like, okay, so Chris gets mad because I stay up late because I'm like jacked up from working out because I've been doing that a lot lately and playing. Good golf. job! I'm so proud of you. So Can have- you like work out for me too though? Because I hate working out. You, you know what you should do, Sarah? You should squat your life out. Because I have a have, big enough you ass. Have a big booty like me. No, I don't need any more ass. Like, if I had any more ass, I couldn't fit in this fucking closet. But you could put a champ- champagne glass on it and, like, pop a champagne bottle and fill it up. I guarantee you I can do something with a red cup right now that would amaze me. Can you flip it? I saw that video, and I want to try. I feel like I could do it. Yeah, but, like, I need a cup on each ass cheek because I can't put it in the middle. It's just too, you know? Dude, you would rock that shit. Two cups at a time? Like, flip cup on your ass. Yeah, I can do it. So, Sheree's been doing these ass workouts, and so she's been getting... Is she getting a booty? Ass. Yeah. So she And she's always talking about how big my ass is. And You know, I, I have plenty of meat more, but for her. I, I feel like my um, the Shantaeism is me staying up late, getting into stupid freaking YouTube videos about cults and shit. Hole. I'm just like I'm so fucking obsessed with with true crime bullshit and. Dude, cults. send me your shit. We'll watch it together late at night, which you're not gonna do anymore because Chris has his headphones on. Yeah, no, I, I stay up people. because I'm telling you, <laughs> like. So this week it was two nights a week. So the first night is volleyball, which is like three hours of me hurting myself on purpose. Yeah. Do you like hate life the next day? Worked out for a solid hour, and then um, I'm just jacked. So I come home, and Chris is like, "Turn your phone off. Stop watching shit." It's like when we were messaging the other day. Read crazy stories and videos about I don't know cults and weird shit. Your brain has to like wind down. And I'm trying, and he's like, I have to get up really early. Turn your shit off. <laughs> so then I'm just, balls. like, laying there, staring at the ceiling, like, do these rich, old, white people really go to these freaking places in the middle of the woods and, like, wear crazy clothes and worship an owl? Is this for real? Is this for worship life? an owl? Yeah. I heard somebody say the other day that they seriously thought JFK was still alive and was indeed a Trump supporter. I'm like, bitch, <laughs> did you see the fucking news? Like, I if he's still alive, that- I don't know what to fuck to say. 
JFK <laughs> would definitely not support Trump. I even you. all of those old presidents who were fucking racist and crazy. I think that Trump is even too crazy for them. <laughs> I agree. I think he's the Antichrist. Mm. I think they said he was coming, and here he is. Mm. <laughs> oh, look at what! This is my Trump impersonation. I have really like great life, and you know, with the things I did amazing. Maybe I'm immune because I am Donald Trump or whatever. I don't remember my name, but you know, <laughs> I just the other day I was looking at my daughter and I was like, "Damn, look at those tits!" But then. Melania walked in the room and I was like, damn, look at those tits. And then I grabbed them both by the pussy because I'm, I'm Donald Trump. Because I have two hands and I can do that. Uh, it's like a pussy and a pussy. What else am I going to do? Pussy. So, <laughs> so your um, little Trump situation is not as good as Malcolm's, but it didn't make my ass pucker. So that's good. Did he do an impersonation? Malcolm does the impersonation, and I'm just like, I want Malcolm, to you high ass fuck. Good. Pay attention. Malcolm, do Donald Trump. <laughs> Malcolm, Somebody kick want? him. Uh, bacon? Bacon. Ma- Ma- ba- Why? Why are we looking chicken at Chicken breast That's what I'm doing tonight. No, okay. Well, you could do that later, and then you could give me the recipe, but I, I want to see your Donald Trump impersonation. Like, this is a must. Oh, that's fucking cool. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cooking with Coca-Cola. What? What? Malcolm. Coke. Malcolm yeah. Malcolm is high, so he's thinking about food. As a motherfucker. But we were talking about that, too. Like, our Instagrams are a lot of food people. Of course, because we're cake people, and my Instagram is dedicated to cakes. All I have is, like, <laughs> weight loss success stories, comparisons, and then I have food. Like, <laughs> they don't belong together. Shit show. Yeah. So Malcolm, my, I, do I feel Trump, like my please God. Is about the shit you start listening to at like ten, and then all of a sudden you're it's four a.m. and you've been watching videos all night or reading stories, and you're like, oh, in two hours. I agree. That's my life. Can you too. share? Can you share the uh, the journeys that you take in the middle of the night where you're sitting there looking at your phone? Me? Fucking deep dive. The listeners. Oh, craziness. Oh, yeah. I'm like me. You guys don't want to know. Of course, there's I want children to share their chocolate right, and been, their thoughts. I haven't but... heard from Neil in a minute. Oh, Neil, Neil, he's high yeah, as a fucking kite, just crazy. blowing in the breeze, bro. Saying out. Well, have you had Pre- weird pretty much <laughs> a weird thoughts lately? Um, not really. I've just been like <laughs> he's high as fuck. Out, his brain don't think. Watching horror movies, all this shit, like. Have That's all I've been doing lately. Road trips down dark roads lately. Man, I almost got a man. Uh, no, no, not not lately. Lately. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. No. I don't know. All right. You oh, know we'll what? See. Another thing I want to know: What's something that you eat that everyone thinks is gross? Or oh my god, you, tomatoes like, like apple. Combined? Pickles. Ew, and nasty. Just, what the fuck? Like I like exactly. mustard on, on macaroni and cheese, or for you Canadians, m- mustard on KD. What mustard what on titties? Shit? Did you just say mustard on titties? I mean, I would be. Yeah, you haven't mustard. tried that before. I do like mustard. I can't reach. <laughs> like... <laughs> You've never tried mustard on titties. Okay, well you're missing out. Oh, so see, Neil's down. <laughs> Neil's down. He Neil's agrees. in. Neil <laughs> likes mustard on titties. Tree, do you like mustard? <laughs> All Tree right. Likes mustard. Do you like mustard? Well, on I mean. It must be like a Canadian thing, because <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, we're gonna move along again. Um, so, hey, it's my segment. It's a uh, urban fucking word. Yes. Oh, my favorite. Okay, let's go. Right. So today I got three words for us. Oh, I'm so excited. All right. Bring so it. So it's urban word of the day. Uh, our first wor- urban word of the day is called dog shot. Dog shot. Dog shot. What does any listeners right now? I have no idea. Um, <laughs> but Sarah, you what have- are your thoughts? Dog shot. What about what? what I already got about? mine. What is you have your guess? What? You what? have your guess? What that means? <laughs> yes. 
I oh. have my guess. <laughs> Go. Okay, so like, <laughs> oh my God, hold on to your butts. Has anybody seen, you know, what was the old yeller? Like how the dog gets rabies and they got to shoot his ass? Yes. Yes. Like maybe dog okay. shot is you're just so fucked up. So they just put you out of your misery. <laughs> it's really funny that at that moment it's we could walk in, by so it's youth in Asia is that what you're talking about yeah like you're just so youth fucked in off youth and like in Asia. youth youth in, youth in Asia yeah youth in Asia they just euthanize the motherfucker like you know hmm. I'm, I'm still uh, thinking okay, yeah. <laughs> horrible I hate so, my life. a dog shot yes. I think it's a shot that you take that a dog will go and retrieve afterwards, if that makes any sense. Like, like you I shoot don't a know. duck? Slinger thing? Yeah, like a when you shoot a slinger? duck. Okay. Like a hunting okay. dog. Yeah. Okay, I have a like, Go. I think it's the, the doggy style. Okay. <laughs> you are such a hoe. Shoot on her back. All right. Um, I'm not a hoe. <laughs> you're like, it's idea. definitely you're blowing your load on her back while you're hitting it from behind. Like, that's just the Shantaeism, like, right there. That. Layla the Blue, we want to talk to Shantae. <laughs> I, I am both those people. Right. All right, Malcolm, any ideas on what a dog shot is? Oh my God, Malcolm. Dog shot. Yes, sir. Uh,. What's the general consensus here? No, right now we have a, there's no we general. Have three different guesses. Completely. What's from, the last one? Mine was blowing shooting a load, load on your back doing that bag, so. All right. You agree, right? Doesn't yeah. that make sense? Yeah. All right. <laughs> See? Um, no, it's a it's an Aussie term. It's uh, to be hit when you're not looking. So. Uh, it, oh my gosh. Let's, let's you, we weren't close. Oh, we were I nowhere mean, close. I mean, normally, when you shoot old back, Yeller, he's not looking. Yeah, yeah, that's why. It's like doggy style. You're not looking. Right? <laughs> not, not looking. Everybody's so like, sort of right like... but me. <laughs> what do we call right. it when you're in a fight and someone hits you and you weren't ready? Like a sucker bitch punch. Move? A sucker punch. There you go. Yeah. So it's like in the... It's called a bitch move. We call it sucker you punch. You snorted, Neil. <laughs> All right, so that's a dog shot. And it's an Aussie thing. So yeah, okay. using it in using it in context. Uh -huh. uh, a girl asked me for a hug, and her boyfriend went and gave me a dog shot. There you go. Mm. All, right. All right, our next word is uh, our next word is Sputnik. <laughs> Sputnik. What? Wasn't that what the Russians uh, said? I know. Didn't they land on the moon or something? No, that's not what Sputnik was. They orbited. Was the, they the orbited the moon. Yeah. No, they orbited Earth. They orbited oh. Earth. It was well, first, you know, they were orbiting something. It was the first you know, satellite. <sighs> that, with, a big head. Right. A big ass dome. Does anyone have guests besides me and my? Yeah, I'm gonna say that it's what you name your potato when you are in your economics class. And you were just like, oh, oh that's really cool. reaching. <laughs> yeah, the fuck it is. I reached. Okay. And I'm grasping. Apparently, Sarah has mm -hmm. potatoes in economics. All the way up. <laughs> Hello. All the way yes, up. of course I do. I cook and bake and craft Isn't and fucking science? rear children. Okay. Okay. I got to guess. I got to guess. Right, yeah. Sputnik is the first vodka shot of the night that you take. Oh, I like that. Not a bad one. That's right. Because it's made from potatoes. Right. Mother. Yeah, Sputnik. Uh, the last shot that you take. <laughs> <laughs> Malcolm, oh my right. god. All right, no, you're all fucking wrong. Um, it does involve a potato, <gasps> but it also involves asses. It's shoving a potato in oh. his ass. I was close! <laughs> what Boomy. kind of a potato? Recipe. How were you close? I was just throwing a potato. That was that. Uh, oh, uh, because it's what you named a potato, and technically, it's a potato that's going to go in your ass's name. A big brown one. A big brown, like chunky, dirty one. Yeah, I dress it. Dress it. You could do Yukon. I don't know, potato. 
Oh, yellow smoother. Yukon. I prefer, I prefer the Maybe red. a little red potato if you got like a little fingerling. All right, I ha I had a third one, but I can't read my own writing. So um, <laughs> here, I'll read it. Okay. Where is it? She's gonna be like, nope. Yak something. Yeah. Shalik? Shali? No. <laughs> is that an S -A -K -U? solid? You? No. <laughs> Sean Lig? S A S H A N? No, that doesn't sound really good. Show the viewers. I want to see how fucked off this is. Here, you guys. I don't even we can all guess. It. Now I'll try. Oh, you can't see it because I have a background. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Give it to Chris. <laughs> Damn you, technology. <laughs> Recush. There it is. Oh, okay. Show the first part. Shavlika. Other way. Oh. Yeah. Yak. Shavlika. Was that a V? No, I don't know. Shavlika. It's like Shav. Joe says Yak Chariot. <laughs> Anyways, it's. Can't you go back on your phone and see? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can. The yeah, do one. it. Let's do he said, yeah, I can. It, oh, that's I'm retarded. It's yak shaving. Yak shaving. Oh, oh okay. Neil, the hair that shaving? you shave up a yak to make a sweater. Neil. Oh, Neil. it's not as wholesome as that. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is why I always guess dirty things. It's when you <laughs> shave after a season of not shaving. Oh. Uh, no, wrong. What is that? No shave November? No shave November. Oh my God, you no guys shaving. already do that. December 1st, yak shaving. <laughs> hey, I'm down, right, Shantae? Let's go. Are we going to grow out our armpit hair? We're going to grow out the everything hair. I, I cannot. I can't either, but if it's no shave November, we could say that we're trying. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll do armpits. I can't do, I can't. <laughs> I can't, the hair I can't do any of it. I like legs, armpits, vagina. Legs, I can't do it. I even shave my arm. Smooth. You do? Yeah. I'm smooth like everywhere, except for right here. We should oil you up. I'd be sure. Oh, well, there you have it, boys. Confirmed. <laughs> There's no carpet down there. Oh my <laughs> carpet does not match the drapes. There is no carpet to match the drapes. I <laughs> ran straight into that one. That was my own goddamn fault. But there's yeah, no, there's tile. tile. Okay. Tile is popping. Okay, Malcolm, what is your guess? Yak shaving. Oh my god, somebody give him a Pepsi. When you shave a yak. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he's not wrong. Sarah, what is your guess? I already said it's when you shave a yak to make a sweater. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, no, you're all wrong. I didn't guess. Oh, oh you, I thought you, you did. did too. No, I didn't. All right. What is it? Oh. I think it's, I think it's ball shaving. No. 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 It's ass shaving. No. Asshole just the pu the butthole, the tape, the chode hairs. The chode hairs. Just the tape. Uh, no, yak shaving is any seemingly pointless activity which is actually necessary to solve a problem, which solves a problem which several levels of recursion later solves a real problem you're working on. So like therapy huh. is, is what? <laughs> therapy. <laughs> Pretty much. Eventually, you won't be that, an that, asshole. That, 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 that sounds point. about right. It's like, it's a oh, pointless. you're going in as an asshole. Yeah, it's a pointless. It's a pointless activity, right? You're, I you're, mean, it's an activity nonetheless. So <laughs> I said shaving a yak to make a sweater. Origins. Origins is MIT AI lab after two. MIT. What? That's what they're fucking doing. Origins. Could they be like curing cancer Renan's or something? This one was way too deep. <laughs> that one was hard. So all it is is a pointless activity. That I say because gets it's Christopher's you... episode, he should pick another one. Yeah, I agree. Or... I was just going to Google it. OMG. All right. I'll pick one more. LOL. 
What was that? <laughs> Living on love. <laughs> All right. Let's do this one. I've kind of lost it. <laughs> Govy. Govy. <laughs> that's, that's like Sorry, having like balls. Like you got the Govy to stab Trump dick. in the neck. It's a baby dick. Nah. Govy is being the boss in the bedroom. Govy? Okay. <laughs> being the boss in the bedroom. <laughs> Malcolm? Govy. <laughs> Malcolm, are you okay? <laughs> Malcolm, are you re reading stories or what's happening? He hit the food videos. <laughs> <laughs> Someone get Malcolm a shot of Matthew's comatose. He's comatose. He really is Malcolm. Are you okay? Come back to us, Malcolm. Follow our voices. Follow the light. No, don't go to the light. Follow our voices. We don't want you to die. Come back. What's the word? Govy. 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 Yeah. What did Neil say it was? No, no, you gotta have your own thing. No piggybacking off of your left side, friend. Neil gets it. Or whatever Neil says next. All right. Malcolm needs a quaalude. It's whatever. It's whatever Malcolm says next. That's my what, Malcolm. Guess. What is it? No, he's supposed to continue it and say whatever Neil said. No, he cannot. He has to have an original <laughs> answer. What Neil says. Yeah, I'll go with Govy. The Whatever Neil says, mine is the opposite of it. All right, <laughs> I kind of forgot yeah, what Neil said. Whatever, whatever, whatever I'm saying right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the entire opposite of what you're saying. So you're not speaking at all. Go Neil. <laughs> Shit, I can't. I can't fucking figure that out. Then I can't say yes or no to that either. So if you're I'm wrong you're and right opposite, at the same time. <laughs> you're, yeah, you're like that fucking dead cat in the box. Oh, oh Schrodinger's cat. Yeah, Schrodinger's, Schrodinger's cat. But what is a gubby? The cat Schrodinger's is both box. dead and alive. At, at the, the same, same time. time. That's what a gubby is? No. No. Oh, the fuck? Well, what's a gubby? Okay, look. Gubby? That is Neil and Malcolm's answer. What yeah. we just said. What's the answer? <laughs> the answer is a Toronto slag for <laughs> government name. <laughs> Slang. <laughs> I am an American. I there's no way I could have known that. Schrodinger's Malcolm. <laughs> <laughs> Malcolm, blink slang. once if you're okay. Where? Toronto. Malcolm, blink so twice if they're holding you hostage Toronto? and you need us to come right. rescue you. Oh. Where? I don't know. <laughs> I think I think there's a British Toronto too. Because they talk about Manchester too. Can we is can you use it in a sentence? Sure, I'll use the second definition, which yep. is a term used to describe something that is more than just insane, almost godlike. So hey fam, that goal you scored early was Govy. I'm surprised you never got man of the match. So it's like powerful. I guess. Top gun. It's godlike. I hear a little baby. You're pretty fucking Govy. Like Malcolm's just sitting there like this. Yep, whatever the fuck you just said. <laughs> Malcolm, cool. what are you doing over there? Watching um, bacon cooking video. Lays? Is that corn dog? Corn dog lays? lays? Yeah. <laughs> I wonder where that's available. Probably only in the States. Probably in Japan. I've never oh. seen it, personally. I think I'm available in Japan. Too. I feel like corn dogs is such an American thing. All right. So Malcolm has a corn dog corn fetish. We do, but I... I mean, Stop they're better the, in the U.S. Uh, <laughs> Stop taking the world stuff and making I always thought that, like, <laughs> us poor white people always had, like, hot dogs and macaroni and cheese or corn dogs. The fuck? Macaroni. What do you mean poor white people? I'm not, I'm, like, kind of poor, but not poor. And we still eat that shit. I know, like, as a choice. It's really fast it's and it's delicious. And you're not hungry seven hours later because of all of the delicious preservatives. You guys, I'm scared. Where did Neil go? Oh, fuck. Did he fall asleep again on the bed? What if a smiley face guy comes on his camera? What? What? That smiley face guy. Like, do we do that? Isn't there a movie where, like, that serial killer guy comes on? <laughs> do you have a clap on your screen? I also have a this. 
Jimmy Dugan says, avoid the clap. I don't have. <gasps> there he is. Thank God, oh, well, Neil. thank you. Neil is alive. The aliens came for him. They're going to take him to a better life. Neil, we thought you went night night. Neil, what's that one movie where the smiley face guy comes on the screen when people are like FaceTiming each other or whatever? I don't know. I've never seen that one before. <laughs> like, <laughs> but Chris didn't even tell me what the title was either. And we watched it together. Malcolm, are you looking at chip bags right now? I'm still looking at Instagram food posts. Why are you looking? Oh my at God, food? he's way too high. Did you eat something like an edible? We fed him Chinese food, and then he did you smoke? He ate the whole cookie. Ate That's the what whole happened. Cookie. Oh, remember it was a little Canadian like gummy, the red one, and he was like, "It tastes like shit." And I was like, "Well, you're probably gonna die because you don't know." Oh my how God, it's true. Shit. He ate an edible that was shaped like a maple leaf. The whole thing. And I, I told him it was, he said it tastes like shit. It, it tastes horrible. Shit That's how you know they're good. I said it was meat. I told him it, it was, was a chicken liver. <laughs> You're the best friend ever. Dude, so like for Dude. everybody, I'm going to hold on to this because if I move it, it'll end and I will be ejected from this root. Don't stop touching it. I wanted to show you something. You know what time it is? Uh, eleven twenty-eight. Peanut butter PM. jelly time. Peanut it's, butter it's, jelly it's, time. It's meme. It's meme queen time. Oh, I thought I went earlier. Anyway, I was gonna show you this gummy that I have. That's like a thousand milligrams, oh. and I ate one thing, the big as big as my pinky nail, and I was like, "Were you seeing? Am I okay? okay? No, you, I was not okay. Sound? I was not you okay. Just, like, oh, go to bed. How many memes do you guys? Hey, Chris, like? did he just go to bed? No, no me he'll be back. he pulled a needle oh. Sarah, Sarah, did you already send your memes to malcolm i don't think malcolm is able oh, to he's do probably, the memes. okay so you can either screen share and pop it up here or you can send it to malcolm so we can put it up so how many memes am i allowed to share if you're connected to Zoom on only your tree fitty tree fitty are they the are Malcolm? they memes that are going to make people rant or see a silver lining because i feel like we have to they're hilarious i won't share i could share that gift that got me in facebook jail for three days oh yeah let's i want to i thought you oh my god it's the best it's the so i was in jail for three motherfucking days bitch i should have a teardrop tattooed right here i thought you were like taking the higher ground I thought you were, no like, because remember i was doing i was doing that government paid like like thing the oh. Oh, look, bye. Okay. Malcolm, where are you going? What do you say? Thirsty. He needs a drink. Oh, yeah. Cotton mouth. Eat some cereal, yeah, bro. There's tea and I think water. There's a bunch of water bottles by the door, by the basement. He's like not. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so I'll just play the gift now for, for you and all the people. Okay. Can you see? Yes, I can see now. This yeah. gentleman, like, pinned my thing so I'm big. But this gentleman is going to do a makeover. Of himself? Yeah. See, he's like, yeah. Ah. It's like he's got like music. A ah. dude. Look at him. He's got the brush. Oh, got some makeup going. What's going to happen, y'all? Bam! Oh, my God. <gasps> you guys need to get at us. <laughs> oh, Chris, my God. Christopher did a fucking urban word of that. <laughs> Right, and I was like, "Isn't that a? Uh, it's the same thing as a fruit basket." A goat, yeah, goat or whatever. Showing the goat or the brain. Goat. I don't remember what it is. I like how Neil was like disgusted and looked away. Okay, so yeah. like this is my meme folder. I have an actual folder on my phone. You have to. Like, You're the meme queen. What do you? Uh, yeah, no, I am. What do you guys like? Okay, uh, let me get you some new shit. I feel like you so, totally jacked Corinne. <laughs> I jacked her. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, she stole from another meme lord. I was always like laughing and liking Corinne's meme. Like she would like make my day better because she'd always be posting yeah. shit. Was that you and she was taking from you or were you? No, we take from each other. It's an equal opportunity workplace. Like 
she steals shit from Twitter. I'm not on Twitter. So like, I'll go to Reddit and get my shit from Reddit or I'll just fucking steal that shit from um, Facebook. Anyway, because I'm a, a GOT I like fan. that you go to Reddit because Malcolm is such a Reddit person. And you're very oh, like, so oh, I love Reddit too. I love Reddit and Twitter. Oh, okay, yeah. so y'all That's see, this is Ruth like... Bader Ginsburg. And then look at what it says. Look, at look, look. Look, I sent the fly. Tell yeah. Pence. I want him to know it was me. <laughs> I feel like people like beyond the grave sending flies and perfect. Okay, and then I have like a funny thing because like I am part of like all kinds of meme groups because I go shopping. Mm-hmm. So like I'll save them all to my phone and then post them because you know Sarah's meme smart is my that's the, the Facebook page that I made when I was in jail for three days because I was bored. <laughs> and I was like, oh I'll just make it a meme thing. Anyway. It was meant to be. It's it's a picture of Trump, like Ooh, the Goonies. God. Yeah, Ooh, you guys. And then look, I heart, I care reacted it, and they were like, it said, even apart, we are in this together. We've added this reaction so you could show extra support, and it's like Trump being a hey, you guys. So I thought that was the funniest shit ever. They made that meme so we could support him. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's been there for like ever. The care <laughs> meme. Okay, okay. This one I got a lot of reactions from. Mm -hmm. It's this guy and his eyes are like swollen shut. And then it says the allergic reaction that he had. When you get a whiff of her whap and it triggers your seafood allergies. (laughs) (laughs) And then (laughs) I did see that. I did see that. And I Yeah. That is a super sad life. And he, well, I mean, like, you know. And then I have, hold on, I gotta get you guys a roller gun. When me and Chris went to Vegas. We, oh, we this one I got from Young Neil. Shout out to you, homie. Sarah's Meme Smart thanks you for the contribution. It's Keanu Reeves, and it says Trump has COVID. Meh. And then somebody hit Rick Moranis and they're glocking up. Because, you know, Rick Moranis. Nobody laughed. Okay, fine. No, that was some serious shit, dude. Fucking Ryan. That was way serious. Ryan Reynolds is like, I should have known better. And then someone fucking jumped him. Where? In New York or something? Yeah, it was in New York. This one I have not shared yet on my page. So are y'all ready? Oh, world premiere. (laughs) Okay. This is here first, you guys. Bad. (laughs) It's oh boy, we're rather, about to be taken down from the internet. It's a rather large woman on top of a man. Oh. And it says, sunblock SPF 400. But wait, somebody commented, so sad that people would rather take pictures instead of pushing the fourth thing back into the ocean. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I think that Holy. one day I was at fuck, one of the blockbuster pavilion like group shows like they have like I don't know like eight bands or whatever it was like one of the Inland Empire things I don't remember the name Sarah do you remember like I love IE or something or I love San Marino no I don't it was like some name of you know how there's like um Ozfest or whatever oh yeah it was one of those and there was a giant lady with a skinny little white guy and everybody was fucking making fun of them you know what I call they those? And making out on the grass, you know, the background. Oh, Lord Jesus. Yeah. You know what I call those, like, though? Don't make fun of people's kinks, man. They were happily making out. Don't make fun of that. They're just jealous. So you, you want to know what I call those couples? The number 10? The perfect 10. <laughs> the perfect 10. Well, me and I was telling Chris the other day, too, right? Um, every um, pair of best friends makes the number 10. There's always a well, like, tall skinny guy or taller skinnier guy and then the rounder friend. Like on Super Bad. Michael Cena would be the number one, right? I mean, he's Think very about thin. All of your group of friends. Like me and Christopher, I would be the zero and he would be the one. <laughs> Do it. Because I'm, I'm out of all of us, which one of us would be the zero? <laughs> like me and you. I'd be the zero. And I would be the one. And me and Cherie. Especially because she's You'd be the one. She would be the one. I would be the zero. 
every group of, of friends or well that's just because pair, every pair some bitch is better than the next the, person the number 10 i don't even know it's there it's it happens anyway i have one more for y'all oh this is the one that i wanted but it popped up on my phone anyway and it's the man and he's having oh my god what's happening to his hand y'all it's it spider-man Yes. Yeah, but when your wife and kids are going to be gone for a while and your hand sends out the porn <laughs> hub signal. That's awesome because you can watch it on your living room TV and then you don't have to worry. Yeah, right? you don't even I have to use headphones. I don't even care. Oh, well, I just want to have the volume turned up. You can put your porn, like your, your VCR or your DVD. Your VCR? Shantae, yeah. how old are you? What the fuck? But now you can screen share, or you can just go on your search engine on your TV. You have a smart TV. Oh, you know, okay, you can share the porn that you love on Facebook. And, and, <laughs> and get blocked for three days like I did. Okay, I got one more, one more, and then I swear oh, there's no more. That's what she Wait. said last time. So there's this slide, <laughs> and because of coronavirus, it says oh, slide fuck. closed. And that some bitch is, like, nailed on there, screwed, right? And then there's, like, this guy. It says, I really hope there's no sign at the top of the slide. <laughs> Fuck, I could watch kids smack it into that plywood all day. <laughs> I don't give a shit about your kids. Hey, what was that amusement park that the... Uh, action park. Action park. Have you guys watched that documentary on I've, Netflix yet? No. Not yet. You guys. You it's guys it. have to watch it. It's and good. we heard about it on My Favorite Murder. They did a whole thing on it. And they had a bunch of listeners... Uh, call in for like they went to that one more amusement park and there was a slide where it did a loop and people were getting fucked up left and right like so bad that their teeth oh my god were getting knocked out but their teeth were like jammed into <gasps> the circle and then the, the people were going in there and like there. like pulling the teeth out of the fucking slide you know like the i don't what is it like you know when you go on slides and it has like that foam stuff yeah a, yeah. The soft stuff and slides that amusement park. Like I don't know. Mat. But people are fucking busting up their faces going down the slide and shit. It was, yeah. You and have to watch the documentary on Netflix. Mat. It's so good. And the people, other people are sliding down <laughs> and we're getting bitten by the And that mat. place got closed down oh. because people were dying like every other Holy day. Shit. Like drowning <laughs> and Dude, dying. Dude, they had a wave answer. pool that killed like four people. You like, think you would shut oh, a wave pool down after one person? People dies. were dying like every other week at this place. Oh, that's We're not laughing at you guys. It's kind of like remember that one time, Neil? I said something about a coat hanger. <laughs> oh my God. Gross. It's like and you were the only like, one listening they were like to me. A part in their backyard. Oh my God. Everybody in the '80s went there. And your parents were like, don't go there, but you would sneak and go there. Well, there's a movie. Fuck you, mom. I'm going to go drink a Pepsi. Yeah, they were like drinking for at the top of this hill and like hanging out and impregnating 14 year old girls or whatever. <laughs> oh, and, like, my goodness. Playing at the water park all day and just being high and retarded. It was the 80s. <laughs> Anyways, so. But that's not you. okay to impregnate people. Like, I'm just saying, that's rude. Well, I mean, people get knocked into the 80s. I know. <laughs> It happened to me. <laughs> what was that last one you showed? It was <laughs> it was a picture. Shut up, Neil. That's why Neil was dying. Let me turn off my shit. So like oh. and let it focus. It had a tattoo of a chair and share. And it said when your tattoo artist is deaf. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I would and one more that. because I'm drinking. It says I really don't like tequila, but one shot won't hurt. Three hours later, Three hours later. I could seal the Declaration of Independence. I, I love that meme so much. I, I do too. It's like a guilty pleasure. Because we always get serious and we always like get in these crazy conversations on our deck about, and I'm like, yeah. And I, I do. I will get to that point. Let's still the fucking deck. Hey, this is for all of you out there who are concerned with my vagina. I haven't had sex in so long. I forgot how to move. What if I fuck up and bark? Rough. <laughs> rough. It has to be rough. <laughs> or you just make some fucking crazy noise. <laughs> what did you say? Oh, oh, oh. If it has oh. so good, you start laughing. No. 
Like, I bumped my head on a table once. That was pretty funny. You laughed about it? Yeah, like, we were, like, in the middle, and it's, like, getting good, you know? And then I was, like, blam! And I hit my head on a keyboard thing that rolled out. And it just... (laughs) I kind of just killed it. <laughs> like, it's not as if you've been fucking this person for years, but for some reason, your body is just like, laugh. It's, it's, yeah, it's so, not, yeah, no, that so hasn't happened to laugh. me. It's like on a roller coaster or one of those fair rides. Like, you're, it's exciting, and you just start laughing. No, like, that hasn't happened to me. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> That's a serious Shante! Weed and was my, maybe involved. There might have been some probably illicit drugs was that involved. all the means? What was what I mean? I well, got like no, no. We do got... you have more? Or are you done? I have billions more, but I will take up this whole next hour showing you guys memes. Like I'm okay. sure Chris has other things planned. So sh- you save those for your next episode. <laughs> I literally, I'm not kidding. This is my meme folder. Jesus Christ. Um, I think it was like the break yeah. when she was like, I have a meme folder. Yeah. Yeah. I have like an actual, look, it says meme. <laughs> All right. So uh, moving on. Um, oh, shit. We're on to movie review. So wow. that movie was? So my movie was uh, Mayhem 2017. It starred um, uh, Samir Weaving and um, Glenn. Um, Glenn from Walking Young. Dead. Stephen Young. Uh, fucking beautiful fucking movie. I'm How sorry. How old is he? Is he the same age as us? I think he's a little younger. I think he is too. Yeah, I think he's a little younger. But um, I don't know. It was weird. It was weird. I'm just going to bring this up. That, um, for a while there, I was on a... I'm still actually on it, but uh, I'm on a Samir Weaving fucking kick right now. Every, it's <laughs> I don't so know random. why. And it's, and it's not on purpose. Isn't she oh, like, like your celebrity path? Uh, what was it? No. She was no. Uh-uh. She was on um, babysitting, which I fucking loved, and then babysitting two. Yeah. And then she was also on um, Ready or Not. I fucking love Ready or Not, but Mayhem, this fucking movie, this mo- uh, Okay. It's, Did all it's, of you watch it? Yeah. Did everybody get, catch it? Yeah, two months ago. I like don't remember much. Uh. You're supposed to you know, there, there was a nail gun and lots of blood, wow. and he was trying to escape. With right, the so the synapses, the synapses is this, is you catch a virus, mm-hmm. and this virus causes you to not, um, your moral your moral spectrum's gone whatsoever. Moral compass. They don't, your moral compass, everything, just out the window. So whatever you're feeling, whatever you're thinking, whatever you, you want to do, you do. So you want to fuck a bitch in the street, you do it. Yeah. You want to fuck a, a cock in the street, you do it. You know that you, alcohol you don't drink because it turns you into the Hulk? Tequila. Yeah, you drink it. Mm-hmm. Uh, you do all the drugs that you want to fucking do. You say all the things that you want to say. And then it gets to the point where an incident in Iowa where they fucking, in an in a, in a, in a office, some dude disagrees with his boss and he kills his boss. Mm-hmm. Right? That's so it's, it's don't they what get it is. Quarantined it's in fucking, the building? It's ma'am, yeah. The, they, yeah, they, they like cut them off. They, they get quarantined in their building mm-hmm. and and it's just bedlam. It and, is actually mayhem. Uh, I give it a 10 out of fucking five because I fucking loved it. We've watched it a lot of times. Yes. Uh, before watching before watching it for the show, I watched it like twice by myself. Mm-hmm. And then I watched with Shantae. And then I watched it like four or five more times when I said that we should watch it. Well, it's like, too, like so. if you've ever worked for a company where you have a desk job, and then, you know how, like, in office, you, you get, like, five emails from fucking all these different managers, and it says the same shit, and you fucking... Yeah! It. Yeah, it's like that. And then, so, the underdog, the person who fucking hates his life, and is always getting bossed around and treated like shit, basically, at this point, he's the guy. And he's, you know, he ends up being able to go up to the higher he levels already, in the he building. Already compromised. He already compromises his moral, you know, compass to get to where he's at in this company. But and everyone then, else who thinks they're fucking hot shit is fucking trying to kill other people. And they're like fucking people in the office and doing blow office, office people and craziness because they're all fucking hyped up, right? And so, so yeah. he goes up and he fucking takes out all the people he fucking hates. It's like a dream, right? Like, <laughs> oh, it was a great dream last night. I got to fucking 
fight and kill people, I fucking can't stand. And my just off kid. the motherfucker. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, my rating, like I said, I, I give it a fucking ten out of five. Uh, everybody else, what the fuck's your rating? I would say I would give it a eight out of ten. Same. All right. I I actually enjoyed it a lot. It was a very very I don't want to say like original concept but it was i mean these people are stuck in the office and it's like as far as like horror comedy movies go it was pretty like you know it was good right yeah like the blood shots and the crazy shit like fucking nail the blood the shots stuff. like because i was like oh you know what i mean like the fun. nail gun, blah like i feel like the filming of it too like the action shots is like in your yeah face, like, you're like oh, that was cool like i'm in it like the point of views and stuff yeah yeah Shut it. um i i agree with neil it was yeah. like it was like sharknado for me like i'm gonna watch it and yeah. i'm not expecting anything but like i'll probably watch it again right because it's funny and... you're pleasantly surprised yeah malcolm I uh, liked it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> was it new content for you guys? Like, did you ever watch it before? No, I had never seen it. <laughs> I've never thing. watched it before either. Very, very cathartic. Right. The uh, the satisfaction of yeah. watching this guy who gave his life to the company in order to move up. Just massacre like, right him. off the bat in the movie, you see how he goes from this bright-eyed, bushy-tailed young cat to this jaded, you know, like kind of like office pop. space he got where he wanted to get yeah and yep. it wasn't fulfilling mm-hmm. right and i liked how uh it had a narrator how the main character was narrating it and uh that really that's worked. like good zombie movies i think they have narrators like the main character narrating stuff and kind of like and then I that really them worked off. when 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 you do it right it mm-hmm. really works and when you miss it it subtracts from the movie and i thought that this really it really added to it I agree. Mm-hmm. And uh, the, obviously the special effects were pretty amazing, right? The, the fight scenes were very, uh, they were very energetic. Very, like I said, very cathartic. Watching him exact revenge on everyone he hated. Yeah. And the whole thing, it was like structured almost like a video game. Yeah. Like you're going up levels. Mm-hmm. They have to, him and the girl have to get through so and so to get to the next level. You know, they got to get the key. Like a boss to level. To go up to the next level of the building. Yep. And the, there was, there was, it was, you know, it wasn't a heavy movie. It wasn't deep. It was, there was no twist. There was no twist or anything. It was straightforward, straight up, just mm-hmm. you know, violent. Like yeah. you, it was like, you hated characters right off the bat because you're like those people mm-hmm. suck. It was because like, you you know, know you could relate. You're like, oh man, that reminds me of fucking Karen in my office. Like, Hell yeah, dude. Because we all had a boss like that. I had to have a key card, and you're only allowed to be in certain oh, yeah. <laughs> because you're not anyone important and all that shit. And you fucking hate and you me. can't go up in the elevator to fucking level seven because you only have a class C. When I lived in LA, that's how it was. Yeah, that's how it was at the hospital for me. Like, oh my god. Any person who has worked in a cubicle or had a desk job like that, totally. That's I think all anyone who's I've had a fucking done. job where they hated and their boss sucks, you just have to fucking stick it out. So I just yeah. want to put that out to the public. Uh, you fuckers should go out there and check it out. It Watch was, Mayhem, guys. It was, like Malcolm said, very fucking cathartic. It kind of hits you in the right spot. If you ever wanted to kill somebody, that's the movie to watch. Well, <laughs> Absolutely. Here's the thing, too. If you watch Glenn... Get killed by Negan on Walking Dead. Mm. You can watch this movie and watch Glenn just fuck shit up. <laughs> he, he has his head still. Feeling really awesome about Glenn. <laughs> his name is not Glenn in the movie. No. No. But, yeah. I, I, I disagree with the people at the table. It was a 10 out of fucking 10 and will be a 10 out of fucking 10. Chris loves oh, it. Ever. Is, uh, that's how I feel in my car. That's how I feel. Chris in feels this like chair. people should get get what they fucking deserve. Yeah. Yeah, because he's right. the robot guy. Yeah, I believe the world should be run by robots. And the yin to the yang. And uh, let's move on to. Oh, okay. Well, shit. All right. 
Uh, we delved way too much into politics, so we're not talking about that shit. But we will talk nope. about the funny shit. I'm glad All we right. did that on the break. So, if any of you will watch that fucking horror show of a fucking <laughs> debate between the two um, the two douche canoes that are trying to the ones who are trying to be president presidents, um, that was something. That was really something. Because it was literally nothing. I, I, it was it was fucking entertaining, and I think it shouldn't be. It's it's politics. I feel for the <laughs> for the mediators in all of these debates because they're they, they can't do shit. I feel like they need shot callers. I really. Shot callers I, on the, really I, did you guys hear how Trump was like? I'm not gonna have a debate virtually because then they could just turn off whatever and they could shut you up. And I'm like, that's what they want, you dumb fuck. No. I feel like nothing was discussed. I feel like nothing came of it. No. Nope. No debate. And I feel like everyone agrees, and that's what happened with that. And then we had the vice president's mm-hmm. debate. No. The best. The that came of that was the fly. <laughs> <laughs> you had a fly. Does or anybody extended, remember what was discussed? Extended period. No, nope, but that fly was Pence's first black friend. <laughs> yes. Um, all I remember is that. She was like, I'm fucking talking to this. And she smiled through the whole thing. And she just let him be a crazy person. A crazy People person. were sitting there, man, they were saying that Camilla Harris's faces were not okay. And I'm like, have you fucking seen Trump's faces? Yeah. They're all like, fuck people. you, you dumb butt. Yeah, no, 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 no. And literally, the only thing that anyone remembers from that debate is the fly. And yeah. more importantly, uh, we. Um, we lost a significant fucking person this past week. We sure as did. As far as music is concerned. Um, we, we lost Eddie Van Halen. Mm-hmm. And for, for musicians, for music lovers alike, that is a, that's a fucking big loss. It was pretty heavy. Yeah. I feel like it doesn't matter what music you're into or even generation. If if you're alive, you've probably listened to Van Halen at some point in your life. And I feel like besides my dad right now, everyone's pretty fucking like, that was a loss. That was a big loss. You got to sell. I mean, like Van Halen's music was like featured in commercials and shit. You know what I mean? Like they were big. Beyond the commercials. That's what I'm saying. Like, it doesn't matter yeah, where you are or what you're into. I feel like everyone knows a Van Halen song. Yeah. Like one of my one of my more featured fucking guitarists. That was the reason why he became a guitarist. Yeah. Yep. Dan a lot fucking, of people too. Dan fucking Palmer. Yep. <laughs> Eddie Van Halen was the reason why he became a fucking guitarist. There's literally. And it's just and it's an entire it's, it's, group it's, of musicians who are there's that. There's so much more to it. Mm-hmm. I mean. And the way he died, though, I mean, because a battle with cancer, the C word is just so looming nowadays. I don't it's know if killing people. I mean, it, it's just a way to go. The battle, you know what I mean? It's very long, very sought out, especially if you're seeking treatment. And yeah. I just my heart goes out to the family watching the struggle and then him finally like being not in pain anymore and you know for all of his fans out there just know that he made a difference in the world oh, as yeah. far as every country goes and he will be for- remembered forever forever like forever has influenced generations of people now but it's always it's it's like history right mm-hmm. it's crazy yep but you know what he leaves behind a legacy and i think that's something that on a scale like humans really want to do but only a handful of them are able to achieve that and so for eddie to have achieved that i mean along with his brother and stuff like that's amazing for him to leave behind this legacy that will will twist history and its ties forever is just amazing kids that aren't even born yet will love him Yeah. yeah Well, it's just like if you're learning if you're learning instruments, right? You're yes. you're going to be exposed to like how to videos or you know, music books or whatever. If you're yes. doing lessons, you're gonna learn from these people. These are the people that paved the way. Yep. 
especially when it comes to like rock and roll like mm-hmm. back then in like the 80s that shit i mean i think it was hard it was, hard. Up, it was right? fast i don't it know like, I, I, just, all right, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna interject, I'm gonna interject right now uh, we do have a fucking guitarist at the table so i just want to your fucking thoughts bro don't we have two guitarist people at the table Come on. Malcolm's more of a guitarist than I am, but go ahead, Malcolm. Malcolm, when you heard the news, how did you feel? It was uh, it was pretty heartbreaking. It's pretty heavy. And, uh, I don't have to hang shit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> my first inclination was to hit up Dan Palmer's Instagram and see how he was doing. Right. If I can because, check on your musician yeah. friends. And then and then Fernando from Babelway. Yeah. Right. Which you know. Van Halen was a huge part of their lives, right? and uh, it's really unfortunate because in, in, our, in the other podcast, um, you listening to me, Punk, uh, Fernando was on the show with Dan Palmer, mm-hmm. two fucking guys, two guitar guys that love Eddie Van Halen, and Fernando wanted to talk to him about Eddie Van Halen, and he wanted to talk to him about the whole band Van Halen. So, like that would have been a whole episode right there just listening to huge mm-hmm. you guys should do and, that um, a huge cut yeah like a memorial thing like what they what he did i mean even though having a punk like basis like rock is all rock punk rock rock and roll 80s hair metal it's all within the same storm so i mean that would be really cool i mean chris if you're down like just to have like kind of a tribute and even just the influence i think for me that, the, like as a guy who used to play guitar all the time was uh i had a few a uh, few guitar heroes right there was eddie van halen of course Jimi hendrix Muddy mm-hmm. waters yeah and uh, tom morello of the newer mm. school and you know and i always tried to emulate mostly tom morello just because of what the shit that he did with the guitar like he treated it not just like a guitar he treated no it yeah like a turntable you know right it was an extension of himself. It was definitely really Henry, an artist. Van Halen, mm-hmm. right? I was I wasn't so much big on the shredders, you know, like Green Day or or, or Satch, right? Or, or Uri, I mean, those guys, you know, I respect what they do, but to me, these other guitars just seem to have more soul and uh, or created, lack thereof. You know what I mean? Like the the this, talent that comes from it. it it'll, it's it's really sad to see these heroes slowly going down one by one right. but mm-hmm. i mean we know it's going to happen it's going to mm-hmm. happen to all of them it's going to happen to all of us you know I mean, we have to life is fleeting we have to watch while these great men and women get cut down you know mm-hmm. and, and it'll always be before their time that's how we'll always feel you know yeah, exactly and we have to always inspire and train new musicians the people coming in that Art is a way of life and that you have to run with how you feel. You have to pave the way. You can't depend on technology and shit to produce your shit. Do something new and and do those things because I feel like as we lose these people, like I literally cried when David Bowie was gone. Oh, for sure. Dude, Malcolm and Chris were there and I was like, I was, I was a mess. These are the people we lose. And once we lose all these people, what do we have left? And, and more than that is, is these people made magic in a time where technology wasn't prevalent. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Time where this shit wasn't allowed too. Like our, the parents. Were it was the devil's like, oh, music. Helen concert. That's the devil. You know. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. They fucking think, set a think, precedent. Yeah. They they created they created a fucking platform. They created a platform that that didn't exist yet. Totally. And how old was he when he passed away? Sixty-five. Yeah. Um, about everyone else who's sixty-five. Was violent, was I was gonna say fifties, yeah. yeah. Violent cancer for a year. I, I feel like if um this that generation that's passing away, if they didn't pass away from like fucking partying, overdoses, or suicide, it's cancer now. Yeah. yeah. Cancer, fuck off. And then well, that's uh, that's another like, thing. Like what causes it? Inevitable. But I feel I, like I just, cancer is just stealing all our good people. Yeah. Steals uh, everything. Yeah. Hey, I, I have to dip now, guys. I'm sorry. Okay, bro. Oh, he's yeah. got to go tonight. What does that mean, Neil? 
<laughs> He's got to go. Oh, nine. I, I, let's, I let's, gotta. Let's bring, I gotta, let's bring everything to. Before, <laughs> yeah, let's close it out because it is at the right. two hour mark. Yeah, we're, we're sitting at two and a half hours here. Yeah. So. Mm. Let's wrap it up. All right, let's do that. Um, let's let's end it with a, a dig. This Neil, you can start. Yeah. Um, for the last little bit, what you what have you been digging? What's making you happy? Um, I don't know. Just horror movies. Just getting back into them. Like oh. I've started watching the Conjuring universe movies yeah. again. So they've been pretty great. I mean, that's what I've been doing lately. Nice. All right, Sarah. Um, you know, I'm digging memes. I feel, and it's stupid, it really is, but I feel like I kind of have like a duty to people because <laughs> <laughs> laughter really is the best medicine. And I remember, God, it was something, Neil, you know what I'm talking about. I posted something the other day and it was about music and how music decorated space. Space time. or and time. Yeah. yeah, and and for me that really stuck because we've all been in kind of like a really fucked off place, but you have music that kind of is just like it, all the words were written just for you, and it makes you feel not so alone and not so off kelter. I guess is the word I'm looking for. But You're right now I'm just again. Yeah, I mean, like when my mom died, I know it's kind of stupid, but like three doors down was kind of my shit. You know what I mean? Like. What and red hot chili peppers, peppers. Mm -hmm. and uh peppers. yeah no red hot chili peppers is still one of my all-time favorite bands but that being said i think it's just finding the light that's mm -hmm. in the darkness the laughter and laughing loud and laughing genuinely genuinely and laughing all the time that you can really just kind of it chases your blues away so that's know? what you've been doing that's I have been in all things that make you happy. I, you know what? That's pretty much all I have right now. Like I can say that my brother has two more treatments and then we're hoping that all is well. Um, they have not done a scan yet, but they're saying that the tumors were so insignificant the last time they looked at it, that, that he was pretty much good to go. But I being a naysayer is like, why didn't you do the scan? Uh, so I was kind of upset about that, but you know what is, his doctors know it's best for him, him being a heart transplant and all that. Um, as far as my family go, I miss my sister, my oldest sister. We're going to do family game night via like Zoom. We like play little stupid trade games and stuff, but it's fun because we get all shit faced. I love hilarious. that. We all need to do that. We've been talking about it. Yes. It's actually, it's, it's so, like you said, just cathartic. Like it's just to forget about all the bullshit, like outside of this door, outside of this sparkly ass curtain, like I'm not. I'm a mom, I'm a sister, I'm a friend. I have all of these duties, maid, cook, chauffeur, for whatever else. Mm -hmm. But like when I'm in here, I'm an artist. I'm I'm a comedian, like Chris said earlier. I am able to just kind of find the lesser points of myself that are able to come out more. And it's just the most therapeutic thing. I don't know what life is going to be like outside of this stupid fucking coronavirus bullshit. But I can only hope that I can take what I'm digging now and just keep digging it later on and just build on it. You know what I mean? Cause I'm totally a Again, positive girl. person. So, so I just, so this is a couple, this is a cool thing because it's hitting upon what we're digging, but it's also hitting upon a mental health point. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, this is why we do the dig this situation is that we can also give you an idea to figure out what makes you feel okay. Make you feel okay in a shitty situation. Take the make suggestions, you, right? Right. Yeah, not even just take our situation suggestions. Just thinking about what you're doing in your life mm -hmm. that makes you feel okay, and just amplify yep. that. All right. Just amplify build on that. that. Focus. Build on that. Yep. And just amplify that as much as you possibly can until you're okay is a stable situation to be okay. Mm -hmm. yep. Right. So and even okay. then, like, will it ever be stable? You don't know. Don't Nobody bank knows. on the fact that it's going to be knows. stable. Just but take your happiness for, there. For that moment in that happiness that you can fucking find, mm -hmm. amplify that as much as you possibly can, right? And find help. Always find help. You know, mm -hmm. like I said, like we always say, we're always here. Mm -hmm. We will always be here. Um, always. Message F this. Message any one of us personally. Personal shit, yep. We are more than happy to talk to you or direct you in a direction that someone can talk to you. Yeah. Always. My dig this is I started playing volleyball last week. 
Was it last week? Yeah. Two weeks ago. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Two weeks. it's something that I was very passionate about as a young teenager. Like I was like, I want to be a professional fucking volleyball player. That's all I did for a long time. And I was fucking really good at it. And then I convinced my bestie to come on Monday nights and we play volleyball and we've committed to working out together and all that. And not only does working out and being a healthy person um, support your mental health because it obviously creates happy chemicals in your brain. And that's why I'm like jacked and I can't go to sleep, but um, it, it brought back a lot. You know, it made me feel good about myself because I'm good at it. And we're hanging out and playing with people who are not necessarily good at it, but we're cheering and we're learning together. And it's something that's outside of my home and outside of my daily work situation. And even Chris was like, you better go every fucking Monday. You're going to go like you can't just (laughs) don't ever just be tired or too sore. You have to go because he he can see it that I'm like super stoked and feeling amazing. And like my best friend is there helping me along the way and we get to spend some time together too. Like you need to make some time for yourself and make some time for your friends just to have some happy time. Right. So I'm digging on that, digging on that hardcore because I I've been fucking losing weight and feeling good about myself and having a good time. So good on you. I'm digging on having some time for myself. (laughs) But I think that's so important too. Like just having the, it took a week guys. Okay. The first (laughs) night it took a week for me to not hold on to the walls while I was going upstairs because I was so fucking sore and beat up because I'm so out of shape. Right. But it was fucking, it's worth it. It's amazing. You bounce back harder than ever. And right? every, everyone gets to see it too. Come harder than that ball. Play. It's funny because Matt is here and he's about to go back to work and he was here the night I came back and they got to see me all jacked up and stoked. And Matt was like, it's great. And I'm like, it's fucking great. All right, Malcolm, what are you digging on, bro? That's exciting. I'm really happy for you. That's I like hearing that. that I co- know. Mine coincides with yours, obviously. Yeah. I, uh, I've been uh, this this just this month. I've been uh, dedicating myself to health and nutrition. Um, yep. I'm. Uh, that's that's my that's my dig. This is getting healthy again, just mm-hmm. for the health of it. You know, um, working out. I try to work out twice a day, and if I can't, I'll at least try to get one workout in a day. Every day this month. Uh, this is for me. This is my annual sober October. Yep. Which, yep. if you follow Joe Rogan's podcast, him and his buddies, they all do that too, mm-hmm. and they they work out every day, right? They have these challenges. They go, they they uh, they do points and they keep score. But I'm just, I'm just, it's just me doing this by myself, and and I'm st- I try to push myself all month to to remain sober just from alcohol. I don't, I don't uh, have a problem with anything else really. Um, but okay. no, I don't. I take THC oil in the evening to help me sleep. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to sleep. It's and pain it. management and, and mental health and yeah. all that, too. But um, working out every day, trying to strengthen my knee. Uh, for those who don't know, I had my knee replaced a few months ago, like just when we went into lockdown. I got mm-hmm. my knee surgery and I came back to lockdown and I didn't get to do proper physio. So this recovery for me is really weird. Like there's weird shit going on in my knee right now. It gives out randomly and it's kind of concerning to me, but yeah. I'm keep pushing forward, keep exercising, keep stretching, keep, you know, build those ligaments and those tendons and those muscles. And uh, I'm hoping that by the end of this month, I'm going to see some results. If, if, if I can stick with it and really push myself, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of racing against the clock now because I'm scheduled to go back to work at the end of next month. And yeah. uh, as it stands right now, I'm not ready, right. but we just, we just got to keep going. As a, as a group of friends, we're just like really supportive and they're for each other. Like, I feel like we're all, because it's either work or we're working out or we're doing something. Yeah. And it's, it's really good to see Malcolm working out and doing this shit because he fucking motivates me. I'm like, oh, fucking Malcolm's looking good. I better fucking keep going. If he can do it, I'm going to do it. And he's had fucking robot surgery. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you for looking so good <laughs> with your robotic leg, man. Christopher's getting buffed. He's over here fucking doing welding shit yeah, every day. Yeah, everybody, so. And Cherie's getting a booty because she's doing her shit. That's well, right. fuck, I guess I gotta do stuff now. Damn. Do it, man. Right, do it. It'll, it'll I gotta it. come, I'll come to Canada and be like, oh, I'm the gelatinous <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah. But you, you guys, Sarah, yeah. time, Sarah's time in her closet hanging out with us is her 
fucking time for herself yeah, and it's making her happy so it's good that you're here anytime we're <laughs> together it's, it's very therapeutic yeah this, this is therapy my when i do podcasts it's therapy for therapy. me because i'm i'm one of the ones that i'm at shut all of off them. yeah you gotta find your family of people who support <laughs> you and love you no matter what yeah. all right so um i guess i'll touch on my digging what are you digging all right so um I like like well, like somebody else mentioned earlier. I started a new job, um, but I'm learning a new trade. Mm-hmm. It's so fun and amazing. I am fucking so excited about this trade. Like I I I, I I've always been excited about working with my hands. Mm-hmm. My last job before this, I was a brickie. Uh, I'm not technically a brickie, but I was a brickie. And what I mean by brickie is I laid brick. Right. And I enjoyed it. I was good at it. And I was a very fast learner, but I'm a very fast learner. Most things that I fucking do. I'm not keeping my horn. I just know what my capabilities are. And I push myself all the fucking time. Um, like I said, when I talk about work ethic, when you go to work, go to fucking work. Why are you going to go to work and stand the fuck around and bullshit when you could be working? Mm-hmm. Your day goes by so much fucking faster if you're fucking working. So I'm... Uh, uh, working for a welding company, and that's something entirely fucking new out of my spectrum. Entirely, like at some some point, I've always worked with some sort of tools in a uh, in a machinist or you know that type of atmosphere where there's plumbing and dabble and electrical type shit. Nowhere near as much as Malcolm, but you know a little bit changing light bulbs. <laughs> But no, I'm like working towards this new trade and I fucking love it. And it's weird because I've always thought that I would love this type of thing. Being a metal fabricator is something that I always wanted to, you know, get into, you know, and then working on becoming a mechanic as well at the same time type of situation. But it's just funny that this just so happened to be. I've been trying to look for a job for a very long time, and this is the job that I got. Life and works in mysterious ways, bro. Hey, I'm not pushing it away. I'm I'm really enjoying what I'm doing. It's meant uh, to be. Right now, I'm just a grunt, and I do the grunt shit, but I fucking enjoy it. My day goes by so fucking goddamn fast, I have no clue that it's gone. And I'm home already. But yeah, so... I don't know. Just find the fucking silver lining in everything that you do in life. Whether it's working out, whether it's painting, whether it's fucking just enjoying the horror of October. <laughs> just find it. That is that is that is that is that is the point. The point is the silver lining always in life. I think. That's I why that's my segment. Church. All right, you motherfuckers, you guys enjoy your fucking self. I've enjoyed this. All right. um, you guys have yourselves a wonderful time. You know the shit. Go to F this everywhere. Instagram, Facebook, fucking Twitter. We're there. Fucking uh, go to YouTube, subscribe, fucking like, fucking follow. We're there. That's right. We're pushing the YouTube thing now. So every chance you get, you hit up YouTube, watch our videos, subscribe to our channel. There's going to be more content. Yes. And then go and follow all our other fucking, our, all our other podcasts, man. Yeah. There's a bunch out there. We do. All of the things. And we love what we do. And we love you guys. Fucking thank you. Say bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. It's F this. Fuck this.